we scored the away goal, which is definitely an advantage, no question about that. You're all having a wee bit sympathy for Chelsea at the moment, but we need to win, believe me. We are not going to put strong pressure from the beginning because I think that we need to have time to, to play our football. We need to have time to score. So we have to play with balance. This is our aim. Five Live Sports. The Champions League. Man United play Chelsea. Two of the Glazers. To my left, stand in the director's box in splendid isolation, talking to each other. Alan Green to my right. Has the team used? Well, two changes from Manchester United from the first leg. O'Shea injured, uh, in for the injured Raphael at right back. And Nani, somewhat of a surprise this, Nani in for Valencia. As always on the big occasions, Berbatov's on the bench. Uh, Chelsea have made three alterations. Alex into the centre of defence. He replaces Basingua, uh, normally at right back. Ivanovic moves from the centre to right back. Uh, Maluda is preferred to Zhirkov. And Anelka in for Drogba. So a front three of Anelka, Torres and Maluda. Now what happens at uh, UEFA Champions League games is they send out team sheets and, and also put a formation on for those team sheets. Pat Nevin has hit, although the Spurs won last week, I couldn't work out for the life of yeah. me in the Bernabeu. Goodness knows how they've got them lined up. But the one in front of you, Pat, has Chelsea lined up as 4-3-3. Carlo Ancelotti has just said to television this evening, it isn't 4-3-3. You have to see the game, and after that, you can decide. I don't have a surprise. We want to play our football and control the game with our possession. We want to play this shape, although he didn't, and God say what shape it was. And Fernando to play in front works well tonight. <laughs> well, it could be anything then. I mean, the most <laughs> likelihood, most likely thing is that the 4 5 1, which turns into 4 4 3 3 eventually. Um, someone has to be sitting in front of the two centre backs. There is no doubt about that. And Chelsea didn't have that in the first game. Wayne Rooney popped into that little area, which he loves to operate in and score the goal from there. So someone has to be sitting there. And I'd be surprised if it's anyone other than Essien, although Ramirez could do that job. It will be interesting. Players will be playing in half positions tonight. But to be honest, I'm not sure. I can't see any other way than, you know, 4-5-1 stroke 4-3-3. Unless he asks Anelka to play up with Torres. And it's a 4-4-2 again. But that's taken a massive chance because Rooney will sneak into that little area that's left vacant between the midfield and the defence. These countless years that I've been receiving uh, these team sheets before Champions League games, and on many occasions, they are pretty much accurate. But I always say, put yourself in the place of Sir Alex Ferguson. I'm representing UEFA. Sir Alex, how is your team going to play? You think he's going to tell you yeah. the truth? Of course he's well, not. And by the way, systems can change after three minutes and quite often managers it's not unheard of in particular extreme situations it usually happens in international games you know you set out a team the stance in one formation knowing that within a minute or two the opposition have reacted to it and you've always going to change anyway after two minutes just to confuse everyone and sometimes that's what managers do in situations like these they set up and line up and tell players to stand in a certain area just to confuse the opposition so that may well be part of it tonight I'll throw in Alex Ferguson's uh, pre-match quotes then uh, he began by saying we're at home <laughs> um, so there you go that's a big tick for that uh, tactically we're much the same as the first game it may change a bit or they may change a bit rather we can cope with that games like tonight you hope your team steps forward and produces a Manchester United performance I'm not surprised by the Chelsea team I thought maybe Drogba would play but I'm not surprised I've had issues like that with team selection myself it's the intensity with which uh, Manchester United play that that that's what I'm looking for in the opening 10 to 15 minutes. How quick they are, how much pressing they do. And if they start um, with acceleration, then the advantage they hold from the first leg, I think, will be telling. But who knows? Uh, we're, we're just getting word now that Chelsea will play 4-3-2-1. But that's Alex up front and uh, and <laughs> Torres in the centre of defence. 4-3-2-1. Well, that yeah. just means an Elka and Lode have fallen yeah. in behind Torres. But of course, that's just an adapted 4-3-3. <laughs> that's um, all that is, nothing in, more. In all the discussion about how, how Chelsea line up uh, as regards their, their attackers, in all the discussion about Drogba and Torres from the first leg, however people thought they played, credit must also be given to the Manchester United defensive partnership of Rio Ferdinand and Emmanuel Manuvidic. How good it was it um, that Rio came back in under extreme pe pressure, you know, the expectation so high. People saying to you that you're going to play in a Champions League game, such an important game, you're going to be thrown in, surely you cannot be completely and utterly fully matched fit. 
He never put a foot wrong all night. And I'll tell you what, he cruised and he had, he had Didier Drogba when he had him against him, absolutely in his pocket. And Fernando Torres never got away from him when it was Fernando Torres. But it was mostly Rio against an, um, Didier Drogba. And to be honest, he had him in his pocket all night. Alex Ferguson went as far as to say, didn't he? I think that it was Rio Ferdinand's best performance in his nine years at the club. Uh, an exaggeration. But nevertheless, it's very important to get Ferdinand Vidic uh, back playing together. I mean, United have been very mean uh, in terms of conceding goals in this competition this season. Just, just two goals conceded. That, that, that's fantastic, whoever's playing in defence. But I always think they look so much more solid with Ferdinand Vidic together. I mean, Smalling is a player without question for the future. Uh, Johnny Evans is a good central defender as well, but... but they, have no, they have more control of the play when both of those play together because Rio will pass it out more often than not. Uh, certainly when, uh, particularly Smalling, I mean, he's good at attacking the ball, but really playing out of defence is not as forty. When Rio's got it there, there is a comfort about the team. They will pass it about, they will hold possession at the right times, and uh, that's a big, big help to them, particularly in European nights. By the way, speaking of defenders and outstanding defenders, see the Neville brothers are both here tonight. Gary Neville's got a seat in the director's box, but Phil Neville uh, is slumming it with the punters. He's back with the fans with his, his little boy as well, Mike. No, I was just watching them, and do you know what was happening? Phil Neville was talking Gary through the goal he scored <laughs> last weekend. <laughs> Blow by him. What a goal as well. <laughs> the, the other thing I noticed is Phil Neville's got a heck of a tan for somebody who spent the yeah. weekend in Wolverhampton, hasn't by the, he? By the way, the Glazer family, three of three members of the Glazer family, I think, also talking to Gary Neville just a few moments ago. It's fascinating, isn't it, to watch... See, Frank Lampard Sr. is there. Bob Bradley, the American coach, is here tonight as well. Bobby Charlton was taking some UEFA yeah. dignitaries on a, on a tour around the, uh, the Manchester United uh, director's box a little bit earlier on. For, from the, the Manchester United Central Defensive Partnership to the two up front tonight, uh, Pat, of, of Rooney and Hernandez. And it seems to have suited Rooney to play with Hernandez and be able to drop off him and then try and find well, him. Well, and the correct one does drop off him uh, because he won't play up front alongside two central, central defenders because that would be playing straight into Chelsea's hands. Remember, will Alex be 100% tonight? Will he? He's not always the most mobile of players. He's quick. He's a powerful runner more than a lightning runner. But is he going to be as quick and as nippy as he'd want to be? Because I don't know if there is anybody better movement-wise, speed-wise, off a shoulder at the moment than Hernandez. So if Hernandez will take, you know, take care of the two centre-halves, it may leave that gap. And that's why I was saying Chelsea must leave someone, at least one player, sitting in front of those two centre defenders. I think uh, that's been one of the problems with Chelsea when they played 4-4-2 or anything like that. It's, it's, it's still unfamiliar to them. And I thought Rooney exploited that brilliantly yeah. uh, in the first leg at Stamford Bridge because dropping off, he was occupying space that Chelsea players... Uh, weren't alongside the clever thing about Great. I have to a great thing about Rooney watch them that night is bit, so many players even some international players when they're asked to play in the this hole the they stand the in the hole that's not what you do you Chelsea arrive there when the ball arrives there Frank Lampard's phenomenal at it but Wayne Rooney is brilliant you think he's playing left wing but he's not he's arriving in the right place at the right time and he did that so well against Chelsea in the first leg both teams uh, making their way out down to the left of us where the tunnel is at Old Trafford in the corner by the Stratford end, making their way out. Guy Roux is another uh, dignitary that I've seen here tonight, the uh, famous former Orgzair coach. Uh, the officials who uh, are leading the sides out in white uh, shirts, blue shorts and blue socks tonight. Chelsea in their familiar blue and Manchester United in their red and white. Um, what do you think, Pat, about Alex Ferguson's comments about how the band might work to Rooney's uh, benefit and that, that he, he'll be refreshed he won't be he won't be tired from having played at the weekend I don't think Wayne really looks that tired at this point in the season let's be fair um, I think there have been points this season where he's looked jaded he's certainly not looked fit at the start of the season I think he's still getting over the injuries from the end of last season but right now I think that Wayne's coming out of the best form that he's had in a long long time by the way Dignity's in the back there another player who scored 20 goals for Manchester United no more than 5 yards away from you Brian McClare just, well just, 
Thank you very much. Brian McClare just to my left. Uh, speaking of Brian McClare, Celtic still 1-0 up against St. Johnson, so they uh, could be going five points clear at the top of the SPL tonight. Rangers play tomorrow. If you want championship football tonight, then Sheffield United against Cardiff is on five live sports extra. As the goals go in in the championship and League One, and that game in League Two between Berry and Burton, we'll keep you up to date with it all here on Five Live Sport. But now it's all about the Champions League, though. Manchester United against Chelsea, the home side one up from that first leg. And your commentary team this evening, Alan Green, Pat Nevin, and first of all, Mike Kingham. Somebody's just turned the volume up here at Old Trafford. Interestingly, Mark, the two managers, it was a nice thing to see walked out together, Carlo Ancelotti and Sir Alex Ferguson. Roman Abramovich has just taken his seat here a few feet away from us in the director's box. This is where apparently it all began for him. His obsession with the game, with the Champions League in particular, watching Manchester United against Real Madrid. So this is the Manchester United lineup this evening. Two changes from the game in London last week. O'Shea in for Rafael, Nani preferred to Valencia. And the lineup is Van der Sar, O'Shea, Ferdinand, Vidic and Evra, Nani, Carrick, Giggs, Park, Rooney and Hernandez. For Chelsea, three changes. Alex for Pasingua, Maluda for Zhirkov, Anelka for Drogba. And the team is Czech, Ivanovic, Alex, Terry and Cole, Essien, Ramirez, Lampard, Anelka, Torres and Maluda. The referee is Oligario Bekorenka from Portugal, who was the referee, by the way, for the Wales-England game recently. And he booked Rooney in that match, though he had little alternative but to book him. Uh, good, experienced referee. And I'm just hoping that everyone's been able to get into this stadium for the game. There have been horrendous delays on the M6. I hope you're not listening to us still on the way coming to Old Trafford. But it has been a difficult journey for the supporters as Hernandez goes down on his knees inside the centre circle, his little ritual before the game. It looks like Manchester United have at least won the toss here tonight because they're going to play towards the old Stretford end in the second half. They're going to play from left to right in their red shirts and white shorts. Chelsea all in blue. Remember, Fernando Torres selected to start tonight. 648 minutes. He has played for Chelsea without a goal. His last goal was 80 days ago at Wolves for Liverpool. So away we go with Manchester United defending a slender 1-0 lead. Park is playing on the right-hand side from the kickoff. Nani over on the left-hand side. Chelsea, remember, won the last time they came to the stadium a year ago. The last team to do it. Park scrambling for possession with Ashley Cole. Ball is out for a Chelsea throw-in. Ashley Cole to take it. Ashley Cole gives that's really I don't know whether that was intended but he's given Alex an immediate touch at the back to help him settle down after his layoff Ivanovic Chelsea were weak at right back last week with Basingwa Ivanovic might make a difference for them Chelsea don't have to do anything silly here they just have to settle into the game and look for their opportunities yeah. Ashley Cole into Lampard it's not any Chelsea fans know the 4-3-2-1 I think will be uh, Frank Lampard and Nicholas Anelka playing behind Torres most of the time with Maluda a little bit deeper that's maybe the surprising thing that uh, Carlo Ancelotti was su suggesting Pat Nevin who would of course played in this fixture many times in the past for Chelsea not at this level though of course in the Champions League this is the first ever fixture between Manchester United and Chelsea in Europe here at Old Trafford ball back with the Chelsea goalkeeper Czech it's uh, Czech pumping the ball into the United half now Torres against Rio Ferdinand who won the ball in the air it drops to Ramirez Ramirez running forward still Ramirez now up against Michael Carrick Ramirez holds and then plays it wide of Ashley Cole and it's out of play for a throw into the home side there's a fairly good breakthrough there by Ramirez he is a more powerful runner than people give him credit for but uh, certainly he will have to try and go up now and again to try and help his uh, front partners but it's getting the ball up to Frank Lampard and an Elka for him but Manchester United already look dangerous in the break. Rooney's first touch, Hernandez flicked it onto him. Rooney now, and the ball travels to the left-hand side. Nani against Ivanovic. Nani back again to Wayne Rooney. Rooney 25 yards away from Czech's goal. Now into central midfield. Carrick, who had an excellent game at Stamford Bridge. Nice ball to this near side, and John O'Shea. Hernandez in the penalty area. Down the line to Park, faced by Ashley Cole. 
Park now, clipped it in, left-footed, too high for Hernandez. Chelsea clear, and Elka's given it away. Chelsea headed away once more, still inside their half. It drops to O'Shea once more, down this near side. Very close to in fact, it's a bit slow there, O'Shea, that's gone out of play for a Chelsea throw. By the way, only four of these United players started the game at the weekend against Fulham, and that really, for me, is the secret of United's success in their season. The fact that they can stick out really two formidable 11s. Throw in to Chelsea. Good noise around Old Trafford. Settling down here. Two and a half minutes gone in the first half. And um, it's a cautious start. Yeah, I uh, understand. But nobody wants to make a mistake. You may have... Uh, you know, if Chelsea do lose another goal, I understand that Chelsea will still want to score two goals tonight. But they wouldn't want to lose an early goal because that would have a psychological terrible effect on them. Carlo Ancelotti stands in the technical area and watches and thinks his team should have a free kick, but it's gone the other way. Vidic not, against uh, Anelka. Were you not slightly surprised how slow mm. Vidic was there? I have to say that really stuck out for me that Anelka was one-on-one -on -one with him and Vidic, for me, ran across Anelka because he didn't have the pace of him. Manchester United, one up from the first game through Rooney. Long ball down that left-hand side. Nani given a vote of confidence tonight by his manager, won't get it. And it's going to be a Chelsea throw-in. The ball had gone out of play. And we've got a goal in a big game in the Championship at Barnsley. Dave Woods. Less than a minute played. Barnsley nil. Queen's Park Rangers won almost inevitably. Adol Terrapt back from injury with a stunning left foot shot from the edge of the area. It's Barnsley nil. Queen's Park Rangers won. Thank you, Dave. Ashley Cole almost caught in possession by the hard-working Park. And Chelsea give the ball away. Hernandez now looking for Rooney down the near side. Rooney with an early ball in which was too deep for everybody. And Park's perseverance once more pays off for Manchester United he's such a hard working player and he plays in all of the big games now one of the, the is there an injury to somebody here yeah uh, I think it was Alec that took Hernandez out in the middle of the field there off the ball um, really came across him ran across him there I give him benefit they don't say it was under Leverett but uh, he was trying to save his friend there because that was a terrible mistake by John Terry at the start of that move to Manch let Manchester United in Manchester United nil Chelsea nil Ashley Cole slips as he lays the ball forward and that's a very neat header back by Vidic to his goalkeeper Van der Sar who gets his first touch of the evening some great saves from him in the first game at Stamford Bridge now Nani bringing the ball out now Brighton of course can go up if they win tonight here's Simon Mann they're already behind, though. Inside 30 seconds, John Akindi from the edge of the penalty area. His shot was deflected past Ankergan, and Dagenham need the points as well, and they're one nil up at Brighton. Thank you. Foul on Nani. Manchester United free kick. Wide on the left-hand side. Dangerous moment potentially here for Chelsea. Manchester United leading through that Wayne Rooney goal in London. Have a free kick. And Nani and Ryan Giggs are together, and Vidic and... No, not Ferdinand. He stays back. John O'Shea goes forward as well. Nani and Giggs. Nani to the left, Giggs to the right. Portuguese referees ready. Check bounces and up and down on his line. Here comes the free kick for Manchester United. Early stages at Old Trafford. Whipped in by Nani and Check saves easily. Yeah, that's a terrible free kick there. That's a great opportunity there for Manchester United to get a ball in. You know, put it low across so the defenders have to do something, but it's floated into the goalkeeper. Gives him a confident lift because he gets his first real catch of the game. Nani getting quite a lot of the ball at the moment. On to Rooney. United moving it quickly. That's a lovely ball from Rooney to find Park. O'Shea immediately goes on the outside. Park plays it inside, though. Rooney has two Chelsea players around him, and he still manages to find Giggs. Giggs looking for Hernandez. It's loose, though, from the Welshman, and Chelsea looking to clear. Ashley Cole onto Maluda. Maluda just manages to get away from Park and O'Shea as well. It was a poor challenge from O'Shea, very half-hearted, but the covering player was Carrick for Manchester United, and it's gone back again to Van der Sar. Here's a, another championship game now, Watford, Mike Shaw. And a goal for Norwich, just after a minute gone, Sam Vokes on his full debut, finishing after he was found by captain Grant Holt. Poor defending by Watford, Norwich ahead here by a goal to nil. Busy domestic night, and then the Champions League, obviously it's Shakhtar against Barcelona as well this evening. Barcelona 5-1 up from the first leg. Manchester United just with their noses in front against Chelsea. Essien now for Chelsea, playing patiently. Lampard now, moving the ball on to Ramirez. Back again to Lampard. Lampard finding Ivanovic over on the Chelsea right. Chelsea just playing their way into the game here. Now Ramirez skims the ball across to this near side. Ashley Cole steps in ahead of O'Shea. Finds Torres on the edge of the area. Can't get a shot in though. Carrick was the covering player. Chelsea still win it. Ramirez on to uh, Lampard. Back again to Ramirez who goes clattering forward. But Van der Sar comes out to make the save. Ferdinand's appealing to the referee. Van der Sar might be injured here. 
as Ramirez continued his run. Yeah, he, I mean, Ramirez has to go for that ball. It's a 50-50 between himself and the goalkeeper. And he probably has caught a little bit with Van der Sar, but I think Van der Sar will be fine. Pat Levin with us here at Old Trafford, and uh, what's your reading of the game overall so far? Well, up until that moment there, I think uh, Manchester United by a good distance on top. You know, Chelsea, the ball really just hasn't stuck. I mean, up front they are playing these three players, they're playing Torres up front in his own, with Anelka and Lampard off, um, the Spaniard. And really, none of those three have got in the game at all yet. They haven't got the ball to feet, they haven't been able to play those balls through. And there's only been two long balls played up to Fernando Torres. And to be honest, long high, long high balls up to Fernando Torres, aimless, is not really for him. Ipswich 1, Middlesbrough 0 is the latest score in the Championship. Here it's 0-0. And uh, we're going to get a full time now from uh, the SPL. Roddy Forsyth. Well, it's Johnson 0, Celtic 1. That means Neil Lennon's team go five points clear of Rangers. They play their game in hand against Aberdeen at Petardry tomorrow night. No simple matter for them. The goal that came... I uh, decided this came just before the interval, a few seconds before Beram Kayal, the Israeli international, showing delicate touch and clever positioning to put the ball away. St. Johnson nil, Celtic 1. Thank you, Roddy. Rio Ferdinand is limping here Very for Manchester badly. United as John O'Shea is tackled by Malouda. Rio Ferdinand is really hobbling and he made such a difference, gave United so much assurance and composure at Stamford Bridge. Remember the FA Cup semi-final as well coming up on Saturday afternoon. But at the moment, Ferdinand is hobbling. Manchester United get the ball into Hernandez uh, sandwiched in between two Chelsea players but Rooney lays it forward to Park cross comes Alex in the penalty area Park going forward, John Terry's there Park with a back heel but Ivanovic will clear real danger there from Manchester United Chelsea stand up firm get it up to Anelka and Chelsea will be aware that Ferdinand has a problem and may try and test him out here Anelka, oh in goes a challenge from Rio Ferdinand and he got the ball as well cleanly gets back up on his feet again and suddenly the game opens up for Giggs Giggs finds Nani Hernandez now will try and stay on side Nani for Manchester United loops the ball forward and Giggs has run offside it's a Chelsea free kick Ferdinand's, oh, Ferdinand's gone, down. gone down again Pat yeah I mean if he's moving like that and <laughs> that doesn't prove very quickly he must come off um, he'll certainly get uh, the physio to come on and have a look at him now slightly surprised there when he was hobbling so obviously and so badly that Chelsea just didn't lump the ball up behind him and test his face because he couldn't move at, at that moment in time but it's a strange thing because he tried to run about for the good, good part of a minute or so and he didn't seem to look over to the bench and he's not asked for the trainer to come no. on that's a very unusual one well his career obviously in recent times has been blighted by injuries but when he returned for that game and took everybody by surprise last week, he was right back to his best in that game at Stamford Bridge. For the moment, Ferdinand carries on. Chelsea will want to put him under pressure. Carrick now with a long ball forward cut out by Terry. Now it's Essien of Chelsea on the halfway line. 0-0 in the second leg of this quarter-final. 1-0 to Manchester United from the first game. Maluda preferred to Zhirkov tonight. Maluda faced by Carrick. Moves the ball on to Anelka. Torres and Anelka start tonight Drogba on the bench now it's Ivanovic deep inside the United half down that right hand side whips in the cross too heavy away from everybody in blue and it'll come out for a throw in to Manchester United down this near side and of course the, the onus is all on Chelsea here really to turn things around Manchester United are in the driving seat they don't have to go chasing the game, Pat, do they? No, they don't. And uh, just a wee moment there, the way Chelsea playing a lot of stop just now. Ramirez now for uh, Chelsea, looking to link up with Frank Lampard. Looks for support down the right. Ivanovic is there. He's getting forward quite a lot at the moment, Ivanovic. Finds Anelka down the right-hand side. Torres waiting in the penalty area. Anelka knocks the ball back again to Ivanovic. Chelsea playing down the right. Now the cross comes in. Header from uh, Torres is just wide. Not a bad effort, but Van der Sar knew where it was going. Yeah, he's got up there, he's got a head on it, but uh, it, was a, it was a cross just before that from Ivanovic, and uh, you said it was a little bit long, I, actually, I think it was a little bit long for Torres, it was in the middle, but Torres in the right position just nods that in, and it was a great cross by Ivanovic, but Torres did not get into the right position there, and uh, I think that was Chelsea's best opportunity so far, but a little bit of a, I mean, I left Chelsea a little bit because Ivanovic is getting up that right-hand side, but I still think Lively are up front, certainly Manchester United and Rooney. Rooney taking on his England defenders, Cole and Terry, into the area from Rooney. Hernandez is there, trying to turn around Alex. Still Hernandez, Rooney's available. Hernandez gets it in, and in the end, that's gone away off a Chelsea defender for a corner. Down the right-hand side, Rooney was full of life down there, posing all sorts of problems. 
And in the end, it's going to be a Ryan Giggs corner for Manchester United. Watching Ferdinand again, he looks in pain on the halfway line. And they cannot really leave him out there, surely, for much longer if he's got a problem. It's a corner to Manchester United. Giggs will take it left-footed. Hernandez stands literally on the goal line. Vidic and O'Shea to run in with the corner, but it's headed away by Lampard at the near post. Torres picks the ball up on the edge of the penalty area. Has to hold it under pressure from O'Shea. Needs somebody to help him out, and he's lost it easily to Carrick. Ivanovic under pressure from Hernandez, but Chelsea may counter-attack here. Anelka. Anelka just has to start all over again on the halfway line. He's got Lampard available. Lampard sees Ramirez over on the right. Chelsea building again too slowly, though. That was their problem in London. A lack of real tempo and movement. Holding it and playing into Manchester United's hands here. Anelka finds Cole. That's Ashley Cole, left-hand side. Again, too many passes, a little too square and slow. Maluda back to Ashley Cole. Torres waits patiently. Ashley Cole's got Park up against him. Drives forward Ashley Cole. Manages to get away from Park. Clips the ball in. Header back from, from United defender. Torres trying to turn. Shot from Anelka wide. Just wide. Chelsea's best moment. Yeah, a little bit of a slip there from Torres, but he still managed to get it under control. But it is so blindingly obvious now that Chelsea are playing it too slowly. You know, if you're a team that has got, you know, that creative player, if you've got an Iniesta or a Xavi or a Messi or something, take your time, build up, because they can unlock a tight defence. Chelsea ain't got that type of player. You know, and the, the building is slowly up there. And by the time it comes into Fernando Torres, he's got two, sometimes three players within a yard or two of them. Must be torture for the boy up there. Ashley Cole just speaking to... Carlo Ancelotti and his staff down there. Manchester United nil, Chelsea nil tonight. 14 minutes gone in the first half. Long ball out of defence from Vidic. Hernandez up against Alex. Rooney tried a shot from a long way out. And Czech is behind it. Well, didn't waste any time at all though, Wayne Rooney. It came to him. He suspected perhaps that Czech was off his line. Smacks it straight at the goalkeeper. And Czech now to clear downfield for Chelsea. Here it comes. Into the Manchester United half. It's John O'Shea who meets it. Heads it towards Park. Chelsea pick it up again. Now Maluda. Ancelotti points. Maluda with a bit of pace this time. That's better from Chelsea. Maluda taking on the defenders in the penalty area. Onto Lampard. Lampard shot in the end, not strong enough. And Van der Zaal makes his save, but it's suddenly a bit brighter for Chelsea. That's an open goal there. He's one and one for 10 yards out there, and Frank Lampard's just softly put it into the goalkeeper's hands. What a phenomenal chance. That's one that Frank Lampard usually, with his eyes shut, puts away. See what a bit of pace can make though and Maluda that time did show pace and Chelsea almost got something at the end of it now the ball with Ashley Cole this is a better spell from Chelsea looks a bit high it was from Ashley Cole into the crowd over on the far side and the goal kick to Manchester United but they're just starting to settle into the game now after 15 minutes during the two times that uh, I think Chelsea have looked the most dangerous Ramirez went a run straight through the middle of the Manchester United midfield and defence and it looked dangerous he got a little bobble in his favour and he almost got through ended up clashing with Van der Sar and the next occasion exactly the same Maluda has a little bit of a run towards the Manchester United defence and it all opened up in front of him but once again, what a chance that was for Frank Lampard. And it's just so unlike him not to get it with Purr on target. Keeps flexing his right leg, Ryan uh, Rio Ferdinand, and doing some turns as well. Maybe the back's a problem for him as well. But he's on the pitch at the moment, even though he's obviously not fully fit. As Chelsea go forward and Carrick manages to deny Maluda and Manchester United playing on the break for the most part. Now with Park running across the halfway line. Excellent ball to Nani. Nani back again to Park. Park knocks it forward towards Hernandez. But Czech will come out and get it first. And with an underarm throw starts Chelsea moving once more. After he slipped as well. Oh. Um, the amount of slips in this game. And there's another one from the And The foul has been given against Nani by, by his fellow countryman, the referee actually. Nani has been penalised. And Chelsea will have a free kick in the right back area. Uh, do you know the, the players, if you see how skiddy it is out there, it's, it's often a problem at Old Trafford. Very, very skiddy. Certain players can cope with it better than others. If I was Manchester United, I would be getting Hernandez one on one with Alex at every single opportunity. Because twisting the time with him, Alex isn't going to get near him. Evra up against uh, Fernando Torres. Torres is chasing, but he won't keep it in. And it's a Manchester United throw. By the way, in that game against Bayern Munich here a year ago in the quarter-final, Nani scored two of the goals on the way to a 3-0 lead. And United looked home and dry until 
Bayern scored just before half time, then everything changed around. Now Rooney onto Hernandez, who's onside but wide on the left. Rooney's going to go into the penalty area. Doesn't come back though from Hernandez. Alex challenges and in the end has to give away a corner. Corner kick to Manchester United. Big call there from the assistant referee. I thought that was offside by a half a yard or so, but it was very, very close to call. And uh, you have to say, the forwards are supposed to get the benefit of the doubt. He certainly got it there. Problem there, the referee sorting out with Ashley Cole, who's guarding the near post. Manchester United corner kick over on the far side. 0-0 at Old Trafford. In it goes, and it'll be easily cleared by Alex. And uh, Manchester United want to get first to the ball, but they haven't. But the reason they haven't is that the referee's penalised Anelka for a foul on Giggs, and Giggs has already taken the free kick. Now Evra. Far side, the Manchester United left. Nil-nil, Nani. Nani against Ivanovic. Back onto Evra, who's continued his run. Boxed in between two Chelsea players. Ramirez emerges with the ball, and he does this really well, Ramirez. He's dribbling free now. He's all on his own. There are four or five red shirts around him. Has to give it to somebody. Finds Torres on the right. Torres now. Oh, that's not a good ball from Torres. O'Shea should cut this out against Maluda. But he was late, O'Shea. Didn't really need to do that, and that'll be a free kick and maybe a yellow card. Hmm, I thought it was slightly harsh there, but yeah... He's missed the ball, I'm sure he was trying to get to the ball, he didn't get there quick enough. Melida was clever, he tempted him into the lunge, he made the lunge and now he has to be very careful indeed. Slightly nervous still here, I sense around the place, just a little nervous from the home fans, but it's 0-0 on the night and 1-0 still to Manchester United all round. Frank Lampard with a Chelsea free kick, wide near side the left. Lots of blue shirts of course, including John Terry's inside the penalty area, away to our left. Bound to go forward as he does with Alex. In it goes and it's uh, over the bar. And, uh, well, that wasn't well delivered from Frank Lampard. He, not quite sure what he was trying to do there, Pat. He's put it straight near Van der Sar and over the bar and it's going to be a United goal kick. Didn't find anybody in the air. You're being awful polite there, Mike. I know a man sent to my left who would be less polite about that. Uh, that was a terrible free well, kick. What, you know, mean, he's got what, plenty of yeah. space there. He's got plenty of time. He's in a great area. What he needs to do is put it on an angle at the back post and make the defenders think of something. And he just, Frank just lumps it over the top. I mean, Frank Lampard, of all people, shouldn't be nervous. Well, they've got three really there. strong players, Ivanovic, Terry and Alex, who... Love those situations, and uh -huh. Frank Lampard didn't deliver, and now Manchester United build from the back, and they're over on the left-hand side with Evra. We've played 19 and a half minutes gone, nil-nil. Nani now rides the first challenge from Essien. Nani to Rooney. Rooney with good close control. Still Rooney. Rooney now up against Anelka. Anelka's final touch gives Manchester United the throw-in over on the left, halfway inside the Chelsea half. Ivanovic thinks it's his, but it's not. He's been overruled. And Nani pinches a couple of yards and then throws the ball back. And United, very deep for Rooney now. Rooney sends the ball to O'Shea, who's on a yellow card. O'Shea for Park. Back again to O'Shea. Ryan Giggs has made a run. O'Shea just holds it and then lays it on to Park, whose neat touch finds Carrick. Back again to Park. Very close and intricate from Manchester United. Now Rooney for O'Shea. O'Shea bends the ball in. Alex gets his head to it first for Chelsea. It's on the edge of the Chelsea penalty area. Referee falls over. Maybe gets in Ryan Giggs' way. Somebody's boot comes off. Ryan Giggs. Chelsea now inside the Manchester United half. Ramirez forward towards Anelka. Vidic should get in here first for Manchester United. And Vidic takes responsibility. And then what does he do? Gives the ball straight back to Chelsea. So that's not good from Vidic. Chelsea have it with Maluda. 25 yards out. Good block, though, by Michael Carrick. Game just steps up a gear here as John Terry meets a header against Park. We felt that. He's still holding his head, Park Ji Sung. Ashley Cole of Chelsea for Michael Essien. 21 minutes gone in the first half here. Park is just off the pitch at the moment, getting some attention. Ball with Ivanovic down the Chelsea right. They still need to move it up in pace as they give the ball away. And it's Rooney. Rooney now looking for Hernandez to make a run down the right-hand side, but it wasn't well laid off by Rooney. Chelsea have a throw in. It's a slightly more open game than I think most of us would have expected. And uh, certainly if, if any player from Chelsea standing out just now for me, it's Ramirez. He's looked very, very good on the ball. But uh, as I said, the front three for Chelsea, very, very little impact in the game. Whereas Manchester United strikers all look as if they could do damage. Let's go to Sheffield United, Peter Slater. Craig Bellamy's just put Cardiff City in front. 21 minutes, shot from an angle. Steve Simerson got his hand to it, could only help it into the net. Sheffield United nil, Cardiff City won. Thank you, Ashley Cole of Chelsea. Almost halfway point of the first half. Maluda to Lampard on the edge of the United area. 
Uh, so many red shirts in his way. Ashley Cole now threads the ball in behind Torres. Torres controls it. Takes a while to get it down, then scuffs his shot. John O'Shea clears, driven in again by Anelka. Into the crowd. We'll have a word from Pat Nevin. And then at the halfway point of this first half, it's nil-nil here at Old Trafford. It'll be Alan Green. If you want to have a look at uh, the problems that Fernando Torres is having just now, I think that little moment we've just seen there will sum it up. He's trying so hard. The ball's flicked up. He's tried to take it on his left foot and he actually has hit it backwards away from the goal. It's been that poor. Uh, how do you think Frank Lampard's fitting into this system? Um, do you know what? In theory, he is playing in the perfect position for Frank Lampard, a kind of inside left role. In practice, he's not kicked the ball, no. <laughs> apart from kicking it over the bar. He's just not kick. involved in the game, apart from that soft shot that he should have done so much better with. It's still nil-nil on the night. Um, which means Manchester United lead 1-0 on aggregate a goal at Brighton, Simon Mann two goals at Brighton, they've just turned things around Brighton 2, Dagenham Redbridge 1 remember if they win they go up tonight Calderon with the first following a corner and then Glenn Murray with the second Brighton 2, Dagenham Redbridge 1 and it's Portsmouth, Bill Coventry 1 Chelsea on the attack down the right side Ivanovic up from fullback low cross into the six yard box well cleared by Viric the captain on the ball out of play and a throw in is the result to Chelsea which is taken quickly they need to do things more quickly all round Chelsea now it's with Ashley Cole about 30 yards out Cole half thought about a shot changed his mind flicks it into Lampard Lampard back to Ramirez Ramirez with a, a weak pass into the penalty area straight through to Van der Sar against good defenders and Manchester United have got very good defenders particularly two in the central defence if you play in front of them and you pass in front of them they are not going to make a mistake they are not going to find themselves out of possession and it's so obvious for anyone to see that uh, Chelsea just don't have anyone who seems to move the ball quick enough to even ask questions of the Manchester United defence most of the time by the way Ferdinand appears to be OK now though for at least five minutes he was totally ignoring the United physio who was trying to find out how he was you know, he just I, wouldn't look anywhere near them and, and simple for, he's inside his own head he's been injured so often he knows what, what an injury is and if it was any sort of a strain he would have been more concerned about talk, talking to the physio I'm sure he just knew it was a knock it was a bang it will be bruised it's the sort of thing that eventually adrenaline helps you run off 24 minutes gone in the first half here at Old Trafford 0-0 you're listening to 5 Live in the BBC and the Champions League here's Carrick on to Park Ancelotti spent most of his time right in the edge of the technical area. I'll tell you what he wants. He wants that width to be used in the right-hand side because the one player that is getting good crosses in is Ivanovic. He's playing right back, but he's had three or four crosses in the right-hand side and he's trying to make sure he players get the ball out and, then, and like the rest of us, get it out there quickly to ask some questions of the Manchester United defence. Still, for me, Manchester United look comfortable. Giggs over the halfway line to O'Shea back to Giggs near side of the field that's the Manchester United right and he switches play to the left side finding the fullback Evra Nani further down that far touch line and it's on now to Nani in the orange boots midway inside the Chelsea half back to Rooney who's drifting ominously as far as Chelsea are concerned but Rooney didn't do too well there gives the ball away and then Malouda gives it back to United Giggs to Evra once more Hernandez furthest forward at the moment no one down the right side from Manchester United Giggs on to Evra again close to the corner flag away on the far side of the field uh, runs the ball off the mirrors quite cleverly and gets the corner that's what he was looking for yeah and Manchester United strikers again the movement looks fantastic because Rooney is pulling off you know he's just setting off the two centre, centre backs and making great runs and that's making angles for Hernandez as well hasn't dropped on them but it might do soon Nani's corner high looking for Carrick is it no Terry heads it away Rooney though from that header a yard in from the right touchline Rooney crosses quickly it was an air post Hernandez has not just United in front no he doesn't because the flag is up for offside it was a fantastic cross from Rooney executed brilliantly by Hernandez but he made his run too early I am amazed that that is offside you do not often run offside from that sort of position Hernandez's movement is usually that fantastic that we will see it and we'll see it in two seconds time when the ball's played in he is a quarter of a yard offside nothing more oh, it's a brilliant cross from Rooney wasn't it it was fantastic absolute magic from Wayne Rooney who well done again the officials looks, by the way sorry well done the official yeah. by the way because that was a very very tough one to call 
I think Rooney, again, looks Manchester United's best player tonight. Yeah, he, he looks fantastic. He's just coming out of form. But, well, from United's point of view, for the absolute perfect point of the season. And we waited a long time for Wayne Rooney. I mean, we've sat here together watching plenty of games where I thought he just doesn't look himself. Suddenly, it's all there again. Still Manchester United nil, Chelsea nil. United with the goal advantage from the first leg. Last Wednesday night at Stamford Bridge. O'Shea at right back. The only yellow card of the evening to Rooney. Rooney's given the ball away to Lampard, but Lampard was sluggish. Uh, tackles uh, Wayne Rooney and may have fouled Wayne Rooney, has he? Is it a free kick uh, or a throw in? It's just a throw in on the halfway line. Lampard's just not at it. Not at it. At but all. the other thing is what I was explaining before the game the, the players are very good at playing in inverted commas the hole you know between the defence and midfield are the players that don't stand there they arrive there and Frank's playing in a 4-3-2-1 he's actually standing in that yes. area it's so unlike him and it doesn't suit him because the ball, the ball arrives he's got players around him Frank likes to arrive when the ball arrives take one touch and shoot he's done it once so far in the game and it was a very poor shot but apart from that very little impact but a scrappy play at the moment three throw-ins in quick succession on this near side of the field around about the halfway line can Ashley Cole do better with this one throws it to Torres Torres is tackled and loses it to O'Shea Rooney back to Vidic on to Ever on the far side of the field and Manchester United who've been reasonably cautious in the opening half hour of this game are just moving forward now ominously for Chelsea was that a handball by Ramirez no it wasn't given uh, if it was handball Ramirez pass finds Maluda still 20 yards short of the halfway line to Anelka but so much of Chelsea's play is at walking pace here's Anelka again in the centre circle and Anelka chips it that's a good ball to Ivanovic on the far side of the field Ivanovic then plays it back to Ramirez Ramirez to Anelka Torres is around about the D of the United penalty area the ball's not going his way at the moment it's played to Cole Cole heads it back to Essien, we've hardly mentioned Michael Essien, onto Lampard, and now Cole, and Nelka and Torres wait for the cross, poor cross from Ashley Cole, and then not good work by Ferdinand, and nor by Carrick, and they're rather forced to clear the ball. At least it's had a play on this day side of the field for a throw in to Manchester United. You know, sometimes you watch Chelsea, it's been a few times in the last uh, number of months where I've watched Chelsea, and you know, they have huge amounts of possession, they completely and utterly dominate possession in games and don't look like scoring or don't look like creating many chances it's quite simply there's no urgency in the play there needs to be much more urgency and they do get urgent but it's usually the last five or ten minutes of a half oh and Elka's beaten finish to the ball oh, Van der Sarn of his goal and it was penalty area lunges in it uh, and Elka and makes a terrific tackle and puts the ball out of play for a throw in what a huge could have been important, catastrophic that oh, hugely important moment in this game that could have been anything it could have been a goal Van der Sarn, I think looked to me to have made the wrong choice but he got it throw and take it Ivanovic edge of the United penalty here plays it wide to Anelka Anelka's cross is low and it's poor and again the delivery from either flank uh, by Chelsea not good enough at the moment and that wasn't good enough by Ramirez either Park on towards Rooney in the far side but Alex gets there first Alex clears it but only as far as Evra and then there was a, a Giggs lunge and is that going to be a yellow card for Ryan Giggs no, it's just uh, I think it's just a free kick for the some players we get a Ivanovic. yellow card for that <laughs> some players win. I don't think it deserves a yellow card I think quite clearly Ryan Giggs was going for the ball and uh, he's certainly not going to get a yellow card he's going to get a little talking to a goal at Watford Mike Sewell Watford 1 Norwich 1 Danny Graham's 27th of the season a mistake in the Norwich midfield Graham ran away with the ball he got a fortunate ricochet but he finished beyond John Ruddy Watford 1 Norwich 1 important games in the championship tonight but this is the Champions League and it's 0-0 at Old Trafford Manchester United and Chelsea Ramirez uh, to Maluda. Maluda a bit lazy and lucky to get the ball back off Carrick. Ramirez again. And Lampard into Ramirez. And Ramirez chips it to the far side to Ivanovic. Ivanovic booed there for uh, making too much, they think, the United fans of a gig challenge. Ivanovic into the penalty here. Can't kill, uh, bring the ball back, but does win a corner. Very powerful running into the box and Ever had to be incredibly careful. Ivanovic gets to the byline. Again, looking very dangerous. That right-hand side, you know, Ramirez had a good start again, but certainly Ivanovic get down that right-hand side. Does look dangerous. Chelsea corner. 
Stratford end. Lampard from the right plays it in and Alex got in the way of Terry. Ball still in the penalty chair. No, it's not because Rooney takes it off an Elka and United on the counter attack here. Glorious ball by Hernandez on the far side and Nani. Rooney screaming, give it to me, he says, give it to me. It's not going his way, but there is a free kick for Manchester United. Ball on Nani, but Rooney's going to give it to him right between the ears for not passing. Yeah, it was a huge amount of space there. There was a lot of time there they could have actually passed it to Rooney. He had about a good three or four seconds where the, the ball was on, didn't pass it, gets a free kick in a dangerous area, however. Well, uh, if Ramirez is the player who's been booked, I think he is, then he would miss uh, the first game in the semi-final. Should uh, Chelsea progress? That might not matter, of course. United hold the aggregate lead. 0-0 on the night, though. So the far, free- so far, Alan, the delivery from free kicks has been very poor. However, Wayne Rooney's over at this time. The free kick is towards the corner of the penalty area. Left side as United look at it. Giggs takes it, left footed into the near post. Headed down, peels for handball. But um, I can't imagine that they were legitimate. And it's cleared by Chelsea. Up to the halfway line where Torres is beaten by Evra. And the pass goes back to Van der Sar. And suddenly the crowd at Old Trafford have been lifted. Yeah, they needed something there because Chelsea had that little bit of a period there. You know, the moment when Anelka got free and uh, almost took on Van der Sar. Van der Sar was quick out. Funnily enough, that seemed to have lifted the Manchester United fans more than Chelsea fans with that little opportunity. 12 minutes to half time. Manchester United nil, Chelsea nil. It would do United. A Walsall nil, Brentford one. Rochdale one, Southampton nil. Nil nil here at Old Trafford. Nani on the far side of the field. Into Rooney. Rooney passes back to Vidic and Vidic to Carrick and now Rio Ferdinand and near side it's O'Shea into Rooney and Rooney just lays the ball towards the left side towards Evra Evra now 15-20 yards inside the Chelsea half moves uh, lazily forward but Chelsea are so static Nani again O'Shea with his right arm off saying give the ball to me and it goes to the Irishman O'Shea, near side of the field, Manchester United right, Park the Korean nearby, Rooney makes himself available, he seems to be everywhere Wayne Rooney, Rooney down the right side, and running past Maluda, easily, pulls the cross back into the near post, there did seem to be a hand out there, or an arm out, and uh, if Rooney's cross struck the player, obviously the assistant decided it wasn't deliberate, now a counter attack by Chelsea, Ramirez from Lampard's pass, and it goes uh, the attempted pass towards Torres it's headed away by Ferdinand having uh, taken courtesy of a, a good United deflection and now it's hit out of play for a throw in to Chelsea it's real straps for Fernando Torres up there isn't it the nothing ball gets to played nothing to go on you know he needs to get opportunities the, the balls aren't played up obviously quick enough but you know when you look at the, the when a possession going forward Manchester United look purposeful when they do so Leicester Leicester nil Crystal Palace won um, there's a, an example of a lack of understanding yeah. um, between Torres and his new Chelsea colleagues. He passed the Lampard. Lampard thought immediately Torres was going to sprint forward. Lampard think, played the ball and Torres hadn't moved. I think you have to blame Torres there 100%. Oh, yes, I am. Just say it's, yeah. not, it's just not working. Now, what's this? Ivanovic and uh, Nani, slight altercation, and the Portuguese referee, who's been very impressive so far you know punches when it's necessary otherwise he's letting the game flow free kick to United driven back to Ferdinand and on to a shave we're inside the final 10 minutes of the first half here on five live we await the first goal the Manchester United couldn't curl less if there isn't a goal that would mean they're through to the semi-final oh that was uh, obvious by Park using his arm on Cole and it's a free kick to Chelsea Yeovil 1 Notts County 0 Always intrigued to see um, Alan, you know, if uh, it's getting close to half time. And if you're a player that wants to go into this game, you go and warm up and make sure the manager knows you're ready. If he wants to make a t- change at half time, I haven't seen many subs warming up there. Yeah. Just getting a television picture of Roman Abramovich sitting. Doesn't look too concerned at the moment, but. Well, <laughs> well there's an obvious foul by Terry. Uh, and then finally, since the advantage wasn't from Manchester United. The referee pulls play back, and it's a free kick. And John Terry's going to be spoken. Or is it Maluda? Yeah, um, he's, he's done that. And Maluda tried to go for the ball there. 
I, I know you said the referees had a fairly good game, but I think he's just a little bit too card happy for my liking, you know, and maybe it's just European football the way it is here, but uh, any contact at all. But, you know, he's within his rights to give a yellow card there. It's a free kick. Um, he has to be very, very careful now because there's and a lot of players in yellow cards. Torres is having his say as well, which just illustrates his frustrations. It had nothing to do with them. Free kick taken. And now it's back in the village, just over the halfway line, onto Ever on the far side of the field. Eight minutes to half time here at Old Trafford. In the second leg of the quarter final, great interchange between Nani and Ever. Ever into the penalty here. Good work back by Ramirez. And Ramirez clears it into the crowd on the far side for a throw in. They're growing greatly in confidence now, Manchester United. I think they absolutely believe they can get something there. Throw goes to Rooney. Rooney's cross, headed away by Alex. Only to O'Shea. O'Shea's volley pass forward. Ran straight to Ashley Cole and Cole chips it in the direction of Torres headed poorly by Carrick to Maluda and then Maluda's pass was awful behind Ivanovic on the far side of the field Ivanovic can retreat and still keep it in play and drives it in the direction of Torres but that is indicative of the kind of scraps that they're expecting Torres to feed off yeah it, it was a poor long sort of hope, hopeful ball I was going to say hopeless ball but it was a hopeful ball towards Torres I've said that his movement wasn't great onto it either it, uh, going forward just now Manchester United really seem to have the measure of Chelsea that's a good ball down the left side towards Nani Nani quickly to it a yard from the, the goal line Ivanovic is across with him Nani's looking for support and uh, Nani tries a couple of step overs beats Ivanovic on the inside once then twice back heels the ball to Evra Evra's low cross uh, turned behind by Rooney wasn't no Ramirez must have thought that would have gone behind for a corner so he cleared it and now it's with O'Shea momentum building for Manchester United searching for a goal before half time that's poor though from Park the clearance runs to Maluda Maluda um, does well getting away from Park but he's surrounded by red shirts passes back to Lampard uh, Lampard's certainly not um, in the two behind Torres at the moment now Maluda and Maluda chips a back pass to Czech who may not have enjoyed that though he did it really well chest it down control it pass to Ivanovic we're off to Watford and Mike Sewell Watford having trailed early on through Norwich of uh, Norwich's early goal now lead by two goals to one Don Cowie with a great finish after good work down the right by Danny Graham it's Watford 2 Norwich 1 here at Old Trafford in the Champions League Manchester United nil, Chelsea nil. And I haven't heard of any scoreline from uh, Shakhtar Donetsk against Barcelona. You can only assume that Barcelona remained 5-1 up on aggregate. Niall Shea down the near side of the field. Much encouragement from the United supporters inside the stadium. Now Giggs onto his left foot. Giggs crosses into the penalty area. Alex with a, not a great clearing header. Met by Nani. Edge of the penalty area. Faced by Ivanovic. Two step overs. Another one. Now is he going to get room for the shot? Uh, it's blocked in the end by Maluda. Ball is with Carrick. And now on to O'Shea. Giggs available. Giggs inside right position. On to Nani. Nani turns away from Terry. Weak shot wide. It's just slowly but surely turning up the pressure Manchester United now. I I'm absolutely convinced that Manchester United now feel they have blunted Chelsea's attack. They waited to see what was going to come at them. They got themselves organised positionally very, very well indeed. Frank Lampard having very little impact in the game. Torres, negligible, negligible impact. And Danielka, well, he just summed up his game so far with a pass that he tried to make to Torres, which was uh, beyond abysmal. And uh, right now, Manchester United, for me, absolute cruise control. Oh, no. Uh, Terry might be in a spot of bother here. Hernandez seemed to back into Terry, to I be fair. So. I thought so. You know, I don't think he's going to be well. yellow carded here, Terry. But I'm, I'm not, of course, United fans are wanting to send off. But I think he was innocent. Yeah, I think he's back straight into John Terry, who has just stood there and stayed strong. And uh, to be honest, I actually do think that if he's been influenced by um, by his surroundings on a few occasions tonight, he thought they'd given a yellow card, didn't think he was going to give it, and then said, "Oh, well, actually, right, seeing in a from, replay from that angle, his arms are up. Let's have a look. And we see in slow motion, he's going to go. For, no, no, John Terry's just about to go for a jump there. Okay, just about to go for a jump, and Anders is running into his elbow. John Terry's not even looking at him. Free kick to Manchester United. Sorry. Well, that's one of those ones. See if it's an elbow to the face. It's either nothing or sending off. Yeah, yeah. Well, three yellow cards for Chelsea tonight already. Terry Ramirez and Maluda. And uh, O'Shea yellow carded for Manchester United. 
Giggs running down the right side, tackled by Lampard, and it's out of play for a throw into Manchester United. Not said much about Giggs tonight, but he's been very efficient indeed, hasn't he? You know, and playing in that much more central midfield role. And do uh, you know what? Nobody's running, running away from that young man. Walsall one, Brentford one. Rooney to Giggs, back to Rooney. Oh, well, Essien doesn't protest about the decision, so it must have been handball. Yeah, they, they, they may certainly not deliver it again, but it's come up to him and he's just... Again, it's in a very dangerous area. I mean, Ryan Giggs has come over straight away to get on the edge of this. He was maybe a little bit wide, really, to have a shot there, but certainly he'll put it in towards the back post. We've got a great angle from this here. Yep, good position for Manchester United. Uh, towards the right as they look at it. Uh, a yard outside the penalty area. Serious moments here for Chelsea, you know, and for Manchester United to two or three minutes before half time, a classic time for Manchester United to score. Every blue shirt in the Chelsea penalty area. Nani who swings it in right footed deep towards Vidic, headed away uh, by Maluda after Vidic did get his head to the ball. Rooney was waiting for the clearance. Rooney crosses to the right. Uh, brilliantly played to Giggs. Inside door Shea, back to Giggs, and Elka Skin, Giggs into the penalty area, must be one there, it's one there, Hernandez has scored, putting Manchester United in front on the night, and 2-0 up an aggregate now, it's definitely advantage to the home team. Just 30 seconds before I said, classic time for Manchester United to score, and I'm not surprised, and I think slowly but surely, as this happens going on, it's become more and more likely, there was a slight suspicion of offside there at the back post, but really, everybody should be looking at Nicholas and Elka. Absolutely left. Ryan Giggs alone. Brilliant play by Giggs. Takes a little bit of a one-two. Gets down the line. An absolute brilliant ball across the face of the goal. And of course, there were two or three Manchester United players at the back post there. But Nicholas and Elka caught ball watching. Absolutely terrible defensive play by him. But Giggs left foot. And you know what? I think it's just about level. I think the officials have got that one right again. Very tight, but it certainly counts. Manchester United 1, Chelsea 0. Two up now on aggregate, Sir Alex Ferguson's team. And if we were to be surprised by this formation for Chelsea, simply it hasn't worked. No, it hasn't. Not, not even hasn't. remotely worked. No, it, it, certainly middle of front it hasn't worked at all. There have been a couple of decent chances. One was created by a United mistake. Frank Lampard got the end of one as well, but really not much at all being created. Why didn't he go with 4-3-3? Anyway, here's Giggs coming forward again into the penalty area, and Ramirez hustled into the clearance, and he's lucky it's only a throw in another corner. Yep, slightly panicked there. I think uh, Ramirez, at the rest of the Chelsea team, fairly shell-shocked. They'll have to get into the... You know, get into the dressing rooms at half-time. How long will they have to wait? Because I think we're going to get the board up in a minute. From the, at a moment from the assistant referee uh, Barcelona have taken the lead away to Shakhtar Donetsk 1 0 Messi with a goal no shocks there then uh, Ipswich 1 Middlesbrough 2 and Rochdale 2 Southampton 0 a minute of added time here at the end of the first half we're into it Manchester United lead 1 0 and it was coming you could feel the yeah, build up the so momentum was with the team in red yeah, and I don't think you can argue that Manchester United deserve that because they just look so much more purposeful when they're on the ball. When they pass, they pass forward, they go forward. They look as if they're trying to work together quickly to create angles and create space. Chelsea players are just passing the ball rather meaninglessly between each other, trying to look clever in midfield. Hernandez back to Nani. Nani onto Park. Park well tackled by Essien. Finding Anelka. Anelka's hospital pass to Torres. Uh, Torres did well to get the ball back and then he was being fouled anyway so it's a free kick the ball was rolling there and, and Etienne tried to take it quickly but it just seems to be a lack of shape about the Chelsea team you know they're all kind of almost milling about in the middle the only person who's given them any sort of width is Ivanovic who's on the ball just now but on the left hand side Ashley Cole has not got up once Melinda's fell out of the game Man United are one up 2-0 on aggravate and boy do they deserve to be lack of speed Lack of shape, there's nothing going right for Chelsea at all. Um, no, that first 10 or 15 minutes, I think Ramirez was trying to get, have a bit of an effect in the game. He was getting followed once or twice. And it was maybe a little bit of excitement he would come from him. Ivanovic, the right fullback, has looked Chelsea's most dangerous player. 
which is a terrible indictment of the players who are playing in the front three. And Elka, no involvement, Frank Lampard passing them by and Fernando Torres. Um, for me, the poorest game he's had in a Chelsea shot, but he's had nothing to work off. We're talking a lot about Chelsea just now. Do not forget, United have been typically and wonderfully united. Absolutely. United deserve to lead at half-time. United won Chelsea nil. Don't know if you saw that, Pat, but with 10 seconds of the first half remaining, Didier Drogba came out, he ran up to the corner flag, and now he's gone back into the dressing room with the, with the rest of the Chelsea player. That's shown a bit of willing. Only a bit, but it's a bit of willing anyway. Is that him who needs to take the initiative to warm up, or is that the manager who says I'm out to warm up? Well, really, I think it's up to yourself. Really. If you, I mean, I'm certainly it's him, particularly it's usually if uh, international football, I found myself on the bench. I spent my entire time warming up to say to the manager, if anyone gets injured at any point, I'm ready. I want to show you. I want to, I want to do something. I'm not going to sit beside you with my feet up. You know, you have to tell me that you're going, I want to show the manager that I'm ready, willing and able, and I want to make a difference. I want to do something for this team. I've not seen a great deal of that from the Chelsea bench so far. But to be fair, there's not been that many United players out warming up either. Alan, Alan mentioned the, the speed uh, of Manchester United and also their movement. Uh -huh. Well, it really has been Chelsea's problem for the vast majority of the season. You know, they, they haven't moved it quickly, whereas Manchester United, someone asked me before the game, would Berbatov start the game? And I said, absolutely not. You know, you're not going to use Berbatov at the moment when you need people that will create space, move quickly. People like Wayne Rooney, I mean, that's almost a perfect description of Hernandez. He has constantly found himself on the shoulder, very unlucky not to score with the offside goal beforehand, but that will scare the living daylights out. Let's go to say the Chelsea defence, but any defence, Chelsea, they just don't have that. I'd say this linesman, sorry, assistant referee yeah. down front of us has had a blind, hasn't he, with those he, two he decisions? To, I have to say, I, li I like to try and call along with the assistant, you know, just to show that if I'm wrong, well done him. Mm. He got them both right, I got them both wrong. And yet, just back to the, from, from a match point of view, one Chelsea goal and the jitters will set in again. You've got to get a chance first, <laughs> which well, is a big yeah. thing. Well, this is where, you know, managers have played a lot of money these days. This is where they earn their corn. It's up now to Ancelotti to show that he's a top world-class manager. Chelsea have basically stopped producing in the last 20, 25 minutes and slowly but surely looked less and less able. And by the last five or ten minutes there, I was already calling Manchester United looked as if they're just about to score now. And they did score. Now he has got to go in and change that. Now whether that means personnel, whether that means tactics, whether that means system, he's got to do it. And he has got to do it. I would suggest from half time, not from 10 minutes afterwards, from half time, so that the players that come on know their jobs, know what has to be done. It's explained to them. If they come on with exactly the same system and set up in the second half and have 10 minutes of exactly the same, he's failed. The Manchester United reserves who are sat to the left of us, well, not reserves, the players not playing tonight. Uh, Anderson is one, Johnny Evans is another, Fabio is there. Seems to take more amusement in uh, Edwin van der Sar's excursion out of the box than they did in Javier Hernandez's goal. But here at half-time is Manchester United 1, Chelsea 0. United lead 2-0 on aggregate. Let's go round our other games this evening because there's plenty going on in the Football League. We'll start at Bramall Lane where before kick-off, Peter Slater told me he couldn't see any way that Sheffield United would stay in the championship this season and the first 45 minutes is probably proving you right, Peter. I think it is. They could be relegated come the weekend. They're trailing 1-0 to Cardiff, so if they stop the season now, Cardiff would be going up. Craig Bellamy's ninth goal of the season has given them the lead. They're a lead their attacking play deserves. Angled shot, parried by Steve Simmons, but only helping the ball into the net. That was in the 21st minute. Six minutes later, it could have been 2-0. Chris Burke's pass into Bellamy's path. Good save on that occasion by Simmonson. United haven't really had a shot to test Stephen Bywater, despite some good approach work. Like I say, they could be relegated come Saturday night. It's Sheffield United nil, Cardiff won. The leaders are enjoying their trip to Yorkshire more than at the weekend, Dave Woods. They are. They're leading here by a goal to nil. The goal after only 47 seconds. Adol Tarabt back from injury and inevitably finding himself at the, uh, the centre of attention. The ball rolled to him on the left-hand edge of the penalty area. He drilled his shot in. No chance at all for Luke Steele. But Barnsley haven't been cowed by that. They've given a good, de a good performance in this first half. Really decent effort. And they should have had a penalty as well right on the stroke of half-time. Danny Haynes with a run into the box. It appeared to be handballed by Clint Hill and they were still complaining after the whistle had sounded but it's um, half-time, Barnsley nil, Queen's Park Rangers won. QPR are winning, Cardiff are winning 
Are Swansea winning? Alistair Durden. Uh, no, they're not. It's Swansea nil, Hull nil. An uncharacteristically subdued first half an hour from Swansea before Stephen Dobby's rising drive separated the fans from their seats. One of a catalogue of chances off target in this first half. Neither keeper's broken sweat, really. Hull's Anthony Gerrard on loan from Cardiff, remember, headed their best chance wide. That wouldn't have gone down well here. Scott Sinclair had Swansea's most presentable opportunity. He couldn't scramble the ball in from six yards though defense is well on top it's nil nil not been a great 45 minutes for Norwich either Mike Sewell no the best bit was the first 75 seconds when Sam Vokes gave Norwich the lead but they trail 2-1 at half time deservedly so from a Watford point of view after Vokes goal Watford have just run the show Danny Graham got his 27th of the season just before the half hour after a mistake in midfield by David Fox Graham ran on got his fortunate ricochet but then finished although Ruddy did try to keep the shot out and then they went ahead nine minutes before the break brilliant finish from Don Cowie after the low cross from Graham was behind him it's Watford 2 Norwich 1 so there are all the championship games we're at tonight I'll give you all the half times in just a few minutes on five live sport in the championship next season as it stands Brighton Simon Mann Yes, they're leading at half-time by two goals to one against Dagenham and Redbridge. Dagenham and Redbridge scored inside the first minute. Brighton turned the game round with two in a minute. John Akinde's goal for Dagenham was timed at 21 seconds, a deflected shot from the edge of the box. Brighton came storming back, Wood just over. Noon shot superbly saved by 41-year-old Tony Roberts. Then Noon hit the bar and then they started going in. Calderon stabbing in after a corner and Murray's header just over the line but Wood made sure from the rebound. The threat's still there from Dagenham and Redbridge. Akinde with two more shots, really well saved by Anglican. But as it stands, Brighton are going up. Brighton 2, Dagenham Redbridge 1. Here at Old Trafford, Didier Drogba has just come back out onto the pitch to warm up. The tracksuit bottoms are off, the gloves are off. Even, I think, one of his tracksuit tops is off. He's just got one uh, one other top on over his Chelsea shirt. Is he coming on at half-time? Manchester United, one up against Chelsea. Barcelona in the other Champions League quarter-final being played tonight. Leads Shaq to Donetsk, Donetsk by a goal to nil. Lionel Messi with that goal. So they're 6-1 up on aggregates. All the other half-times to come after Rachel Hodges with the BBC News. Online at bbc.co.uk slash 5 Live. This is BBC Radio 5 Live. There's been an unexpected fall in the annual rate of inflation driven by cheaper prices for food and soft drinks. Latest figures show the rise in the Consumer Prices Index was 4% last month, down from 4.4% in February. The measure is still twice the government target. It's emerged there were grave concerns about the safety of Chinook helicopters two years before a crash on the Mull of Kintar in 1994 that killed 29 people. The two pilots were blamed for the RAF's worst peacetime accident, but campaigners had been trying to clear their names. Captain Ralph Cohn co-authored an independent report into the crash and has studied the new document. When we read it, we were amazed at the parallel that it established between our report and what the RAF had found for itself. Two men have been jailed for life for shooting dead a 16-year-old girl who is the innocent victim of a feud between gangs. Agnes Sinna Inokoju was murdered in a takeaway shop in East London. Her killer, 22-year-old Leon Dunkley and 21-year-old Mohamed Smored, will each serve a minimum of 32 years. Amnesty International has warned of violent reprisal attacks in Ivory Coast against supporters of the former president, Lauren Bagbo. It says armed men have conducted house-to-house searches in some neighbourhoods, despite calls for restraint by President Ouattara. And the defected Libyan minister, Moussa Kousa, has left the UK to attend diplomatic meetings on his country's future in Qatar. The Foreign Office says he's free to travel to and from Britain as he wishes. Thank you very much, Rachel. The uh, other sport headlines this evening. Celtic are five points clear of Rangers at the top of the SPL after a 1-0 win at St Johnston. The Rangers assistant manager, Alan McCoyce, has won his appeal against a two-match ban following his spat with Celtic manager Neil Lennon at the end of last month's Old Firm Scottish Cup replay. El Hadji and Magid Bagheera, who were both sent off during the game, have been fined by the SFA but have escaped to suspension. Stuart Broad says he's fit and hopes to return for Nottingham sure in their championship game against Yorkshire at Trent Bridge on May the 4th the England bowler was forced home early from the Ashes tour and the World Cup because of side injuries the 
outspoken racehorse trainer Mark Johnson is joining the British Horse Racing Authority as one of its nine directors. The Scottish-born qualified vet is the first serving trainer to hold a place on the authority's board. And Roger Federer is through to the third round of the Monte Carlo Masters. Andy Murray looks to end a run of four straight defeats when he takes on Radek Stepanek. You can hear commentary of that match on Sports Extra tomorrow afternoon. Travel news now. M5 Southbound has two lanes blocked by an accident between Junction 26, Wellington, and 27, Tiverton. And in Surrey, the A30 is still shut both ways because of a lorry fire at Town Lane. A fire brigade reporting that gas cylinders are involved. The local area is being evacuated, so that might be ongoing for some time. Rachel Hodges, Five Live Travel. It's a triple bill of cup action this weekend on Five Live. And it starts with a derby. Saturday, 5.15 kickoff. Live from Wembley, the first FA Cup semi-final. Manchester City against Manchester United. Then on Sunday, kickoff 12.45. It's Aberdeen Celtic in the Scottish Cup. And from four, it's back to Wembley for Stoke versus Bolton. The second FA Cup semi-final. Football on Five Live. Five Live Sport. Weeknights from seven and weekends from twelve. Five Live Sports. The Champions League. Man United play Chelsea. This is Mark Chapman. The other half-time scores tonight in the Empower Championship. Derby nil, Leeds nil, Doncaster nil, Preston North End nil, Ipswich 1, Middlesbrough 2, Leicester nil, Crystal Palace 1, Millwall nil, Bristol City nil, Nottingham Forest nil, Burnley nil, Burnley down to 10 men in that game, Portsmouth nil, Coventry 1 and Scunthorpe nil, Reading nil. Into League One, Leighton Orient nil, Carlisle United nil, Rochdale two, Southampton nil, which will uh, dent Southampton's automatic promotion hopes, but help Rochdale's playoff hopes. Walsall one, Brentford one, and Martin Allen in his first game in charge in Notts County is seeing his side uh, a goal down at Yeovil. Yeovil one, Notts County nil, and in League Two, it's Bury nil. Burton nil into the Blue Square Bet Premier. Crawley already promoted, of course, to the Football League. One, Luton one. Goalless between Gateshead and Eastbourne and Histon and Darlington and Mansfield and Barrow. The confirmation that in the SPL, Celtic won one nil at St Johnston. In the Ambry Scottish First Division, goalless between Partick and Falkirk. In the Second Division, Brecon nil, A United two and 4 far 2 Stenhouse Muir nil. Chelsea already making their way back out here at Old Trafford. Still waiting for Manchester United don't forget that tomorrow night it's Spurs against Real Madrid can Spurs do the virtually impossible and retrieve a four goal deficit no I'll take penalties <laughs> we've been practising we've got to go out and play well and it's a big night and we've got to go and turn in a good performance and win the, see if we can win the game and see, see where it takes us from there you know people saying you're going to have to attack them and you know, you can't be that open that, you know, you're playing against a team with world-class players in it. You know, what you don't want is, is start bombing everybody forward and getting ripped open on the counter-attack and getting hammered that way. You've got to make sure that it's controlled and that we take our chances if we can when they come. We'll give it our best go. So Spurs against Real Madrid then live on Five Live Sport from 7 o'clock tomorrow night. Both sides are back out. Manchester United a goal up on Chelsea at half time. I was going to say our commentary team is as ever Alan Green, Pat Nevin and Mike Ingham uh, but the little man in the middle is missing Mike. He, 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 he will be here in just a moment. <laughs> was that a very quick half time? Here he comes. Right. Normal service is about to re be resumed. Uh, Torres is off. Drogba on I, I will stand up take these headphones off musical chairs right um, Pat <coughs> Didier Drogba for Fernando Torres <coughs> no surprise I think it just wasn't working that way and uh, I said just before half time I thought that Chelsea had to change something um, and it was up for Ancelotti to make that decision he's made that decision just now whether the system will change whether the, the attitude and the belief will change we will see very very quickly indeed well, and, by now, the way, and by the way I've got Alan's chips <laughs> you've had your chips I tell you <laughs> hey I was just listening the other night to the, to the golf on Radio 5 Live 
All and Chris right. Evans turned up an hour late, didn't he? Oh, I see. So anything Chris can do, you can do, eh? Well, anything you can do for an hour, I'll do for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll give you the lineups in a moment. Uh, but just if you're just joining us, we think that uh, that's Manchester United's 500th European goal, by the way, from Hernandez. But that's what um, UEFA are putting out in advance of the game. They were on 499, but you know whether that counts all the various Super Cups and all those these sorts of things. Anyway, Hernandez scored two minutes before half time, which was roughly when Olic got that goal here in the quarter final for Bayern Munich. So the tables are turned here, and at least we cannot have extra time, of course, now. But it hasn't changed a great deal in that Chelsea always really needed to score two tonight and they needed even more now. Manchester United won through Hernandez, who was only just on side to score the goal. Chelsea building again too slowly down the right. Ivanovic now with a chance to get this in towards Drogba at the near post. In came the challenge from Vidic. Van der Sar caught that before it went out for a corner. And the United team is Van der Sar, O'Shea, Ferdinand, Vidic and Evra. Uh, Park, Nani, Carrick and Giggs, Rooney and Hernandez, the goal scorer. Uh, you know, on Hernandez, a bit surprising perhaps that he wasn't amongst the nominations for Young Player of the Year either, just recently published, because what a first season he's had in English football. Another long ball forward looking for Drogba. Give you the Chelsea lineup in a moment. Lampard's there, needs support. Three Manchester United players around him, really working hard to deny him any space. It's back to Ivanovic now, just inside the Manchester United half. Chelsea playing from left to right in the second half of this quarter-final of the Champions League. Ashley Cole now. Chelsea getting a lot of possession at the start of the second half. Sir Alex Ferguson would have wanted his team to start a bit sharper than this. Ashley Cole now. A appeal for offside given... Was it given against Essien? No, he didn't touch the ball. No. He left it, let it go and uh, if he's not touched the ball, he's no. not offside. Chelsea check, Ivanovic, Alex, Terry and Cole. Uh, Ramirez, Essien, Lampard, Maluda, Drogba and Anelka. So they're back to the usual three now of Drogba, Anelka and Maluda few players on yellow cards in the game Terry Ramirez Maluda and O'Shea now Manchester United looking to go into the Chelsea half for the first time but of course they have all the advantages now a 2-0 aggregate lead Chelsea have to score two in the second half and that's assuming Manchester United don't get another one the ball is back and Rio Ferdinand seems to have run off the injury that he got after about uh, 15 minutes or so in the first half O'Shea now long ball down the line looking for Park Ashley Cole hasn't cut it out yet but John Terry will smash the ball Oh, and somebody might have felt that as well into the crowd. That was really put away hard by John Terry and Manchester United have a throw in and they don't have to do anything gung-ho at all here, Manchester United. Leading by 1-0 tonight. They're going forward again through the goal scorer, Hernandez, on the edge of the penalty area. Hernandez taking on Ashley Cole. Cole got his foot in. Ashley Cole having problems? No, he hasn't. He's managed to do his work there and it's going to be a goal kick now for Petr Cech. Yeah, but Hernandez, even though he did lose possession there, I agree with you as a young player of the year, he definitely deserved to get a shout for that. And maybe when particularly the PFA votes were cast, you know, they're cast quite early. Since then, I think Hernandez has just looked better and better and better. And if uh, the voting was taking place now, I think he would definitely be in most people's lists. Well, the thing about Hernandez is he is keeping out of the team the leading goal scorer in the Premier League. You can't really say much more than that. Berbatov sits on the bench, having scored 21 Premier League goals. Rooney's preferred partner, perhaps, Hernandez. Loves to play in behind him. And Hernandez has got the goal tonight. Chelsea coming forward again, over on the left-hand side. Playing to keep their season alive, effectively, really. 11 points behind Manchester United and running out of games in the Premier League. Throw to Manchester United over on the far side. But Pat Nevin with Alan Green really, I think, signposted that goal for you in the last five or ten minutes. United were building up ahead of steam. And uh, here come Chelsea, though, now, with Frank Lampard. Lampard, oh, wrong decision, maybe, towards Anelka. Good de defending from Ferdinand, and then good... And he's hobbling away again, having made that challenge. Put the ball out for throwing. That's yeah, slightly more concerning that he's hobbling again. It makes you wonder if there's something, you know, something really serious down there. Chris Smalling perhaps for the semi-final as the ball is played in that's the FA Cup semi-final on Saturday and just before Hernandez scored by the way he was fractionally given offside good decision by the officials down there with a header from the fantastic cross from Rooney then it was a great ball in from Giggs which led to the goal scored by Hernandez typical poacher's goal Lampard now for Chelsea drives the ball wide in the end crowd tonight is 74,672 yeah, and that was another little chance there from uh, Frank Lampard, and it's a little bit of a shame there because 
If he'd have got his head up and wouldn't have considered shooting, Ivanovic was there for a tap in alone at the back post, completely and utterly onside. And there are certain players in that situation. Uh, I mean, Frank Lampard, he's not that type of player. He's a player who gets the ball, gets his head down, gets on target, and frequently scores. But other players, you know, such as maybe I would say a Ben Ayun, would have got his head up and would have spotted the run of Ivanovic, who was directly on six yards out, tap in goal. John Terry with a free kick for Chelsea. Drogba against Vidic, Drogba heads it on straight to Van der Sar. Chelsea began the game with a sort of 4-3-2-1 and the two were Anelka and Lampard behind Torres and Lampard didn't really look at home in that system. Now Drogba's on. Chelsea, of course, more familiar playing towards Didier Drogba. No, I'm not sure they not sure change the system usually though. They've changed one person. That's yeah. it really. You know, Lampard's still standing in the same place. Anelka's still standing in the same place. They're, Movement isn't great from where they're standing, so uh, Manchester United, as I say, seem to have them, you know, still tied up at the moment. Six minutes gone already in the second half. Manchester United lead tonight 1 0 through Hernandez and overall 2 0 in this quarter final. In goes Essien to win the ball for Chelsea. Essien inside the centre circle. No, no wits at all, though. No shape at all here for Chelsea. Goes down the centre inevitably towards Drogba. Doesn't control it first time, and his power can't get him through either. Van der Sar clears right-footed towards the halfway line. Chelsea battling down the centre. Now Chelsea again, this time coming in from that left-hand side. The ball played wide. The cross will come in from Ashley Cole. Headed away by Michael Carrick. Drops to Maluda, and he smashed that wide as well. Again, Van der Sar completely has it covered. It's another goal kick. Well enough, in the first half, Chelsea had a good 5, 10, maybe even 15 minutes and then slowly fell out of the game. And uh, they've started sending the brighter team in the second half. They've got the ball, certainly got the ball in the last third. Um, they haven't really tested Van der Sar yet. But I still don't think Manchester United have looked seriously threatened. They've looked seriously worried. The difference really for me, particularly when I was watching the first half between the two sides, was the movement from Manchester United it was so far superior to Chelsea languid movement from Chelsea as we've been saying very slow uh, very ponderous at times Rooney's looking sharp he's lost the ball though now and Chelsea being contained inside their own half Lampard slips a neat ball now to Malouda on the edge of the centre circle down the centre towards Anelka header down from Anelka hoping somebody can get there Ramirez for Chelsea back came Ryan Giggs did enough to stop Ramirez from going forward and Manchester United find Park who's always a useful outlet down the right-hand side. Now the centre circle, Giggs moving the ball on to Rooney. A few players warming up already at the start of the second half. It's Nani, Nani against Ivanovic. Near side, the Manchester United left. Nani tripped by Ivanovic and a free kick to Manchester United. Um, yeah, he certainly uh, got Ivanovic. I think he certainly made the most of that there, but he got a little nick there. And Ivanovic, if, he's got to be very, very careful indeed, you know, because the trickery of Nani, Nani seems to have they seem to have the, the pace of him Ivanovic is a very very good defender but another one of these free kicks dangerous area as I said before generally the delivery hasn't been particularly good but Giggs did put a good ball in early, late on in the, set, the first half here comes Ryan Giggs then for Manchester United they're just waiting for a few more players to arrive in the penalty area in goes the kick from Giggs headed away by Chelsea under pressure Park will run across to try and keep it in and uh, doesn't quite make it no the ball's gone out for Chelsea throwing and by the way, just to underline the task facing Chelsea now, they need two goals minimum, and Manchester United have only conceded two goals all season in the Champions League. And both of them were here at Old Trafford. Yeah, but it has to happen fairly soon. I mean, I, there will be a change quite soon. Um, I mean, I, I, I can't really see why, you know, you keep an Elko and consider his performance so far. So maybe Solomon to lose one he'll consider for that. But what surprises me is, you know, in this game, I, I haven't really seen one creative, you know, ideas-driven move from Chelsea, you know, where they've done something unusual. They've played an interesting pass going forward. And why have Bayern on the bench if you're not going to use him? I thought the same in the first leg, and uh, certainly there doesn't seem to be any suggestion of him coming on. It's 1-0 to Manchester United tonight, 2-0 altogether. Here come Chelsea now, trying to respond. Ivanovic inside the Manchester United half, cut out by Rooney. Rooney, though, is, is thwarted by Ramirez, and Chelsea now will turn with the ball with Essien, and Essien typically drives forward. Anelka to the right, Drogba on the edge of the area. Ball played in, but it can't clear Vidic. Good defending by the captain for Manchester United as they bring the ball out slowly through Nani. Uh, Nani lays it forward, and Evers made a great run, and Chelsea didn't pick him up. Ever now against Ivanovic. 
holds the ball well, then knocks it infield to Rooney. Hernandez waits over on the far side. It's a great ball from Rooney to Park. Still Hernandez in that wide position. Park shuffles forward, lays the ball back to Giggs, and Manchester United getting good periods of possession here to frustrate Chelsea. Leading 1-0 and 2-0 altogether. Nani again now for Manchester United. On to Park, Chelsea backing off here. Park uh, tumbles over his own legs, but still United keep it. Ryan Giggs brings the ball sweetly down and finds Carrick on the edge of the centre circle. Chelsea chasing around, unable to get the ball at the moment. Rooney once more. Really good disciplined play. And now Rooney swings a high ball to the far side. O'Shea taps it back from the halfway line to the goalkeeper. Manchester United at the moment in charge of this quarter-final. Back to Brighton, Simon Mann. And Brighton's progress has been checked by Dagenham and Redbridge equaliser. John Nurse, three minutes into the second half, a shot deflected past Angrigan. It's Brighton 2, Dagenham and Redbridge 2, and Dagenham have just been awarded a penalty. I'll give you news of that in just a moment, Mike. Back to you. Thank you. Giggs down the centre to Hernandez, the goal scorer for Manchester United. But uh, Park loses it, and Maluda, Chelsea have to do something very quickly now. Drogba and Anelka. Again, it's very tight, and there's no width at all for anybody here. Drogba down the centre. Drogba with a shot! Oh, just wide! Not a bad effort from Drogba on the turn. Goal kick again to Manchester United. We're going to have a change here. Well, Out comes the fourth official. Can't see who's coming on, though, at the moment. Can you? I don't think there There's nobody down there. Oh, it. number... It's Kalu coming on, I think, Pat. Yeah. Just see him down there. I, I thought Kalu for an Elka would be an obvious one, although Ramirez made the possibility as well. I see there's a little bit of a limp from him. But if you're just joining our commentary on Five Live, over 11 hours of football now from Fernando Torres in a Chelsea shirt. No goals. The £50 million pound signing... The final piece in the jigsaw they hoped for the Champions League and he hasn't done it. He was selected tonight ahead of Didier Drogba. Hasn't come out for the second half. He's replaced by Drogba. And now Kalou, who has scored some important goals over the years. Back to Simon Mann at Brighton. Penalty scored. Brighton 2, Dagenham Redbridge 3. Two goals in three minutes. El Ab fouling Akinde and Danny Green thumped the, the penalty into the corner of the net. Brighton 2, Dagenham Redbridge 3. Thank you. Already 12 minutes gone in the second half. Manchester United in control. Leading 1-0 tonight, 2-0 altogether. Have played the silkier football over the two legs so far. Nani now looking to release Rooney, and Alex is out of position. Rooney's too strong for him. Hernandez in the penalty area. Rooney holds, then cuts it in over to Giggs. Oh, good header away defensively by Ashley Cole. Rooney spotted Ryan Giggs over on the far side. Chelsea clear, and now they're already inside the Manchester United half through Maluda. As Kalou waits to come on, John Terry now trying to lift the side from the back. On to Anelka, who may be coming off soon. Now Drogba, near side the right. Lampard's in the penalty area. Drogba, blocked by Vidic, can't get the cross in past the defender who was Evra. United clear, Essien taps it back in again. Chelsea with Drogba, edge of the penalty area. Shot is blocked by Vidic. And it was very casual as well, the effort from Didier Drogba. Anelka picks up the loose ball now, down the Chelsea left. Still it's too slow though from the visitors as they look for two goals here. United backing off as Anelka finds Ramirez. Ramirez can lay it square to Ivanovic. Again, it's too slow the build-up. Ivanovic at walking pace here. Drogba against uh, Evra. Oh, Evra's pushed him over on the edge of the penalty area. Really didn't need to do that. And Chelsea have a free kick and Evra has a yellow card. In a dangerous area once again here, right on the corner of the penalty box and uh, Nani's throwing the ball further away, but the referee knows exactly where it is. That was nowhere near the ball there. Quite incredible that that free kick should happen when the ball was a good 10 yards away. But I have to say, I've been very, very impressed by Didier Drogba's attitude since he came on the field. He's put himself about a bit. He's not lost every header, which he did in the first game. And uh, he's had that shot just off target. And he looks like a focal point that Chelsea haven't had so far in the game. League scores, Ipswich 1, Middlesbrough 3, Yeovil 1, Notts County 1. All eyes now on Didier Drogba. Wonderful he'll try and shoot it. Edge of the trying to get area. it on target, you know, bouncing just before the goalkeeper. He likes to do that. It's all about players following in when he does that. Drogba steps back. He may well crack this one. Van der Sar waits. Here comes Drogba. Chelsea have to respond. Drogba's effort. I'm not sure Van der Sar needed to save that. He did do, though. John Terry stabs it on towards Ramirez. United have everybody back and they clear. Hernandez takes possession. He's at 15 yards from the halfway line. Now he goes into the Chelsea half and he's pushed over by Essien. And it's a free kick to Manchester United. And still Kalou waits to come on. Giggs takes the quick quickly. Rooney's there now, on the edge of the area. Going away from uh, Frank Lampard. And Rooney's gone down on the edge of the penalty area. Although he f actually fell inside the area. He was clearly looking for the kick. But the kick is given on the edge of the area as Anelka makes way for Kalou. 
No, absolutely convinced. I know why the referee's given a free kick there. Wainwright's he's got the ball. He's hit it past uh, Frank Lampard for me and ran straight in, you know, and they did two players going for the ball there. I've seen it again in a slow motion replay. Frank's trying to keep strong. Wayne's just pushed into him. If you're a Man United fan, you think that's a stick on free kick. If you're a Chelsea fan, you think no chance. It's one of those ones. And Elka trudges off. I'm not surprised with that change at all. It's, it's exactly the one I'd have called before, but uh, it's up to Kalu. You know, he is capable of scoring goals, but right now he's waited a while to go on. If this free kick goes in, it could be all a bit pointless. Right, it's Warsaw 2, Brentford 1. And here now, we've just seen a Drogba free kick. Now it's a Manchester United kick, and it's going to be taken by Nani. Stretford end, in goes the kick, headed away by Ivanovic for Chelsea, to the far side, United want that, and they're just winding the clock down here, because Giggs, Giggs was very happy for that to sail out of play, so that he could take the throw in, and just a few more seconds go by, John O'Shea, had an uncomfortable first half at times, but was involved in the build-up which led to the goal, O'Shea's throw, United fans lift the team, another United throw in, and they're at times here, showing great European experience here, and pedigree against Chelsea, they know what they're about, they have the lead, and it's all in their time really now. The ball with Manchester United. Chelsea require two goals. Rooney comes towards the throw-in. Ball bobbles away from uh, Ryan Giggs, and it's left to check in the Chelsea goal now. He'll just hold on here while everyone gets into position. Long ball downfield towards Drogba. Ferdinand comes in front of Drogba and gets a firm header to the far side for a Chelsea throw-in. Maluda to take it, just inside the Manchester United half. Lampard, back again to Maluda, 1-0 to Manchester United, 16 and a half minutes gone in the second half, Hernandez scored two minutes before half-time, Maluda for Ashley Cole, again the initial movement is too slow, now Ashley Cole sets off, Lampard wants the ball off him but Carrick steals it from Frank Lampard and now Michael Carrick just holding on here, finds Nani, Evra's available down the left, instinctive from Manchester United, Rooney's available too now. Evra slides the ball in field to Nani. Nani for Giggs, and all United are doing here is working it and keeping it. Scunthorpe nil, Reading 1 is an important score in the championship. It's Wayne Rooney, has it nicked away from him this time? Lampard heads the ball into the Manchester United half. Drogba back again to Frank Lampard. Vidic out of position. Lampard for Chelsea. Lays it square to Kalou. Probably his first touch. Wasn't a good touch either. And Kalou is forced wide by John O'Shea. Still Kalou of Chelsea, onto Lampard on the edge of the area. Very tight for the England man, gets it into Kalou, but Vidic is there immaculately at the back for Manchester United. And Park now holds, and Giggs is there, and Giggs slips it to the left to Nani, and Nani knocked it in field, and he's, no, he's not won himself a free kick there, surely. Throws himself to the ground, looks for it, Portuguese referee says play on, back to Simon Mann at Brighton. Equaliser for Brighton, Brighton 3, Dagnar and Redbridge 3, fantastic goal as well by Liam Bridcut from outside the penalty area, fierce shot into the top corner, Brighton 3, Dagnar and Redbridge 3. Thank you Simon, 90 minutes at Stamford Bridge, we've had 18 minutes of the second half here, two goals in the tie, both to Manchester United, it's Derby nil leads 1, Yeovil 2, Notts County 1, and Alex now hits a high hopeful one into the Manchester United half. Vidic and Ferdinand so commanding together. O'Shea's header down. Essien to Maluda. Again, Chelsea lacking width as they plough their way through the centre. Maluda's trying to provide width now over on the left. Lampard finds him. Maluda against O'Shea. Ashley Cole went on the outside. Chelsea now moving it through central midfield. Ramirez finding Ivanovic. It's a very slow build-up as the cross goes in and Ferdinand's waiting for it once more. Ivanovic tries to head it back into the Manchester United area and Drogba, uh, Julie fouls Carrick. And it's a free kick to Manchester United as Drogba rather reportedly protests. That's Manchester United's knowledge of European football and European referees. You know, if a referee, if Drogba's going in for the ball there, Carrick would normally, I would imagine, in a, a domestic game, stand up strong and challenge him. Just takes a little nudge, falls over, gets the free kick. Great European knowledge, understanding what to get. But like the rest of the game, they are so comfortable and knowledgeable in the situation that they're in just now, Manchester United. It's very, very rarely, even in the changes that Chelsea have made, that Chelsea have look, raised the intonation of your voice, to be fair. No. Whereas going forward, Manchester United seem to do it for most of the time. And you're right, they look more dangerous when they're going forward. Referee says play on again as Hernandez takes a tumble. Again, it's right down that centre from Chelsea all the time. And Manchester United are in position most of the time. And at the moment, it's quite easy for them. Ball from O'Shea is cut out by Maluda, and it's a throw-in to Manchester United. 
almost on the halfway line, nearly 20 minutes gone in the second half. Still 1-0 on the night, 2-0 altogether. Chelsea requiring two, running out of time. Derby have equalised against Leeds 1-1. Portsmouth 0, Coventry 2. And Walsall 2, Brentford 2. Earlier today, Celtic 1-1-0, by the way, to go five points clear in Scotland at the SPL. And now Everett doesn't know where the ball is. Finds Nani. Nani selected tonight ahead of uh, Valencia. This time it is a free kick for the foul by Michael Essien, given by the Portuguese referee. And not a lot of uh, indication at the moment. Not a lot of signs, really, that Carlo Ancelotti's team are going to change this one around. I mean, I mean we've said it before the game. It's, it's the lack of creativity. Mm. There is, when you look at the players, had Chelsea for many years have been such a brilliant power team and the way they've used that pair of Drogba, well, he's not as powerful as he once was and he's certainly not been able to muscle Vidic or Ferdinand so far, although he has made a great effort tonight. Uh, Frank Lampard coming into those areas in power plays. But when you're, go when you're playing against a team who know how to play against that, you need some sort of sophistication. Chelsea really haven't shown it so far at all. The Roman Abramovich dream about to end here, it seems, at Old Trafford for another season. His team, with about a quarter of the game to go, are 2-0 down altogether, 1-0 tonight. Ramirez to Ivanovic. Drogba comes towards Ivanovic, and good power takes him past Evra. Chelsea have to do something quickly. In comes a cross too deep to the back post. Florin Maluda steps in, and Manchester United give the corner away. Corner kick, far side the Chelsea left. Again, Drogba's looked really, you know, he's, he's working so hard in that time. He has to go wide because he hasn't got the power to go past the two centre-backs, but he went wide there, got a good cross in. Corner kick to Chelsea, big, high one into the area, header just wide. From who was that? Ivanovic? I think it was Alex, I think Alex, Alex may right. have got on to the end. It was Ivanovic and Alex both went up together, and I think maybe, well, it's hard to tell, both mm. of them are right up beside each other. I'll give that to Alex. And maybe that's where Chelsea's best opportunities will come from. You know, crosses into the box from free kicks or from corner kicks. The problem is they aren't winning enough corner kicks because they're not spending enough time up that end of the field. And again, Manchester United looking fairly comfortable. Manchester United then, it seems, heading for the semi-final. Probably to play Schalke. We'll go to Swansea. Uh, and then when we come back, it'll be uh, Alan Green with a commentary. So let's go to Swansea. Swansea against uh, Hull City, Alistair Durden. And a goal for Swansea at last. Mark Gower's right foot curler from 25 yards, not really in keeping with the finishing in this match. An absolute perler. Swansea won Hull nil. Here Manchester United lead by a goal to nil on the night and they're 2 nil up on aggregate. And they're in charge. O'Shea crosses from the right, low. Alex diving header clear, wasn't a good one. Ran straight to Nani. Nani shoots right footed and Czech just pushes that wide. Great shot there from Nani. It's the thing the goalkeepers hate. is zipping along the ground. It's bouncing just in front of the goalkeeper's hands. Check that everything right, pushing it. It didn't look very pretty, but it was effective. Leicester 1, Crystal Palace 1. Scunthorpe 0, Reading 2. Derby now lead Leeds 2-1. And it's Walsall 3, Brentford 2. Corner at the Stratford end to Manchester United. Nani to take it, right-footed. Played very deep, deliberately deep to Park. Park controls it. On to Rooney in the penalty area. Rooney tries to shoot, or was it cross, low cross goal anyway? It didn't work and it's cleared by Chelsea, but out of play on the far side of the field. It's simply not working for Chelsea, full stop. It's interesting, Ancelotti's has gone and sat down again. You know, he's spent a, a huge amount of time on the touchline trying to get orders or trying to have an effect on his team. He's gone back, he sat down now. He's, well, I'm Benny, sure he's not giving up, but... When you were getting my chips at half-time, and thank yeah. you, they were delicious. <laughs> Benny Yoon actually went went through uh, quite a workout, and I half wondered if he might have been brought on at half-time. He wasn't, but he's now warming up again. I mean, a fully fit Benny Yoon, I would be screaming and shouting for him to start the game. Never mind. Come on and come on fairly early when you need something to be created. Oh, Rooney beats Terry in the air comfortably, and Rooney is on the under, on the end of his own header. Great cross in. Giggs heads it down. Chuck saves. Giggs should have made it two 0 He could have finished the tie there and then. I wonder if he'll come to regret that. I still think it's probably unlikely, but what a great opportunity! <laughs> what about Rooney's brilliant cross? Phenomenal. He is in great form at the moment, Wayne Rooney. And now Omar Ramirez is going to be off here. Yeah. It's going to be a second yellow card. It is. Second yellow for Ramirez, then the red. And Chelsea already down, surely now out, down to 10 men. Yeah, we certainly can't take a chance if you're the nearest to go in there. There's no way in the world he tried to 
hurt the player, but you've tackled in from the back. Whether or not he's caught him particularly badly, it doesn't matter. You're not allowed to tackle for those areas. Moment of madness from Ramirez. Find himself off just the 10 men. They had very little chance before. I think you can tell from everything I've said from 15, 20 minutes in that I didn't see it happening for Chelsea. And uh, I think that just about puts the nail in the coffin. I actually think Ramirez slipped as he was trying to close Manny down. I mean, the trouble was, it, it wasn't a bad challenge nope. from behind, but it was a foul challenge from behind, and that's why he's gone. I, I mean, Nani will be perfectly all, of course all right. No, there's no, nothing wrong with Nani. He's absolutely I mean, they brought the stress room. What a joke. And now a disconsolate Roman Abramovich in the director's box. Oh, well. Uh, the obsession stroke dream is over for another season for Chelsea. Uh, more news from Brighton. Simon Mann. And Brighton have turned this game around for the second time tonight. They lead Dagnall Redbridge by four goals to three. Bennett's corner from the right and substitute Ashley Barnes headed in from close range. Brighton four, Dagenham Redbridge three. Terry at Beach Park on the far side of the field but has to concede a throw in. And what has really puzzled me, Pat, though he's made two substitutions, one at half time, one in the second half, bringing on Drogba and Kalou, the system remained the same. Well, I said see at half time. I'll wait for a moment as Manchester United have another half chance. Oh, and Drogba was giving the ball away outside his own penalty here, but it's one back. And Ivanovic rushes over the halfway line. Carrick's gone with him. Nani uh, pushes Ivanovic over. It was only a little nudge, but um, as is the way in European games, the player goes down. I mean, it was Carrick <laughs> earlier. I think, now. I think Nani was right beside them there and had the most minor of pushes. And it was. Nani yeah. accepts that he's going to do it. It might happen to him too. Free kick to Chelsea. If switch two middles for three. Manchester United lead 1-0 on the night. 2-0 is the aggregate scoreline. Ivanovic, poor free kick. Easily cleared on the volley by Giggs, who very quietly has had the most effective game. Nothing, the, the, yeah, nothing that's, sensational, yeah. just keeping possession, finding a colleague with a pass, always available. Covering, covering areas, Brilliant. covering space, making sure that nothing opens up for any Chelsea players. He has been absolutely superb at that tonight. He's one of those performances, he needs to do it for the team he's done it. Drop across us into the penalty area. It's controlled in that penalty area by Ashley Cole. Being hustled though wide by John O'Shea. Cole has to retreat a little bit. Gets it back to Maluda. Maluda now, centre of the Manchester United half. Remember, Ramirez sent off for a second yellow card. Chelsea down to 10 men. Here's Maluda. Uh, Maluda uh, hustled by the goal scorer for United. Hernandez. Then it's on to Drogba. Good turn by Drogba. Drogba shot straight out. Van de Zaar. Well, once again, it's a, it's a shot on target from Didier Drogba. I think the goalkeeper definitely had that covered the entire time. But Chelsea had two or three players up there, including Ashley Cole, who has come alive since Chelsea have went down to 10 men. Right, here's Michael Carrick. Uh, on to Giggs. Giggs now to the halfway line. And Nani, Nani turns and sprints forward. Hernandez waiting for the pass through. Nani's going on his own, brought down by Alex. I don't think it's going to be a, a red card. Certainly, uh, don't think so. There were other, there were other yeah, defenders Vanovich there. was coming round the back there. And Where did this pie come from? I brought it up and then oh, one bite. It it's not a pie, by the way. It's an apple crumble. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're making terrible suggestions about Manchester United's <laughs> cuisine, aren't you? <laughs> anyway, it's a free kick to Manchester United. I think the end is nigh for Chelsea. Uh, uh, just a second goal will confirm it. This is a very central free kick. And, well, Rooney's caref uh, carefully placing the ball. Giggs is there, so too is Nani. This looks as if it's Wayne Rooney saying, I'm having this one. Yeah, this is much more central than any of the free kicks that we've seen in the game so far. 25 yards out. Old Trafford alight. And Rooney shoots goalward from the free kick. It looked off a defender behind for a corner. You know, Manchester United loving these positions. They're coming near the end of games. They will, they love and believe in themselves enough to keep complete control of the ball. A slow but sure, as Chelsea will tire, will be opened out, and I suspect there will be more chances as time goes on. And another fresh player will walk on the yeah, pitch. Yeah, Valencia will be on very shortly for Manchester United, replacing Nani, just like for like. I think Nani will be very disappointed with that because. Uh, you know, there's going to be, you suspect, a great night for Manchester United. There'll be celebrations at the end, and any player wants to be on at the end for that. But uh, 
Manchester United almost to some degree are already thinking of the other fish to fry this season, yeah. including an FA Cup semi-final on Saturday, uh, which you'll be able to hear on Five Live. We'll be going to Swansea in a minute, but there's a corner here for Manchester United. It's tapped short, and it's the newcomer Valencia. Valencia uh, onto Giggs on the far side of the field. Back to O'Shea. If the move breaks down, we'll go to Swansea, not before it. Here's Valencia to O'Shea once more. Rooney, move breaks down. Swansea, Alistair. United player, Alan. Corey Evans on loan at Hull City, equalising, driving in Jay Simpson's cut back. Swansea's lead lasted six minutes. It's 1-1. Thank you very much. You missed the first part of you. Uh, not my fault. Uh, less than a quarter of an hour to go here on Five Live. Champions well, we don't make League excuses action. tonight. Um, Sorry? Well, we don't make any excuses tonight. <laughs> Me for being late and getting back there. Right. Okay. Um, here's Vidic. United, I don't think, have looked anything other than comfortable all evening. I, I don't think they've at any point really had to step in the gas. Um, they've, they've known they've just had to do enough. Uh, they've defended the right way. They've controlled themselves the right way. Goal might change it. Essing to Drogba. Drogba's onside. Drogba chests it down. Drogba shoots 1 1. Chance for Chelsea. 14 minutes to go. They have an away goal. If they get a second away goal, they might be through to the semi final. That is absolutely extraordinary. It's out of absolutely nothing. It's a ball just, just kicked over the top. Both Manchester United centre backs unthinkably left Didier Drogba alone. First moment I see, I, I thought he must be offside. He's in so much space. But he's gone in there and he's just peeled away slightly to the right. Nothing particularly complicated about it. In actual fact, it's Evra who's left him. Completely left him. His defending was as bad there as Anelka's was in the first half. Yeah, and it was Ferdinand who was playing him onside. Yeah, side. Manchester United still have the man advantage and the aggregate advantage. Leading 2-1, but they'll be nervous now. Here's Giggs. Giggs just outside the penalty. Chipped it in. Park shoots into the net. Two goals in a minute. Back with the advantage on Manchester United. Fantastic finish by Park. Again, another player who's played brilliantly well. What a phenomenal move by Manchester United. We knew that Chelsea had to push up in a wee bit. Ivanovic was drawing inside, but he had to because another man to mark. What a great first touch by Jason Park. Not noted as the greatest goal scorer, but he put that away with fantastic aplomb. Great finish by Jason Park. Manchester United 2, Chelsea 1. 3 1 is the aggregate lead. There's no doubt whatsoever that that one was totally onside by two yards. I tell you what, it would have been a bit of a travesty in many ways. And Chelsea got completely back into the game and, and sneaked this one to some degree. But he should have having a go at the assistant referee saying that previous goal was offside. Well, I don't think he was. Uh, but it's just wrong because he couldn't see that behind him, Ferdinand was playing Drogba onside. Anyway, I think it's immaterial now. Here's Essien inside the centre circle for Chelsea, who had what? 60 seconds of hope. Yeah. It just makes you wonder, did Manchester United have a few gears when they needed them? Well, they really turned it up there. As soon as it, Manchester United lost the goal, you know, they just went into a different place completely and Jason Park hammered up that far side. And if you have got width, we have been talking about it, Mike's been talking about it all night, no real width for, for uh, Chelsea, loads for United. Uh, Mark Chapman can brilliantly lip read, I'll tell you in a moment what his conclusion is but here's Valencia on the far side of the field right of the Chelsea penalty area his cross was half blocked and Chelsea shoot clear Mark is convinced that Vidic was asking the assistant was it me and <laughs> uh, even even with the assistant having his back to me I'm sure the assistant replied no it was that Twitter behind you <laughs> Twitter <laughs> very nice Ferdinand there you go I are really having a laugh folks try to enjoy it uh, Essien beaten here by Evra and Manchester United as you can tell from the noise around Old Trafford are in command goal at Sheffield United Peter Slater could be a big one for Cardiff City they're now 2-0 up on Sheffield United Jay Emmanuel Thomas on loan from Arsenal the scorer from Chris Burke's cross as things stand Cardiff will go second in the table it's Sheffield United 0 Cardiff City 2
And a goal at Watford, Mike Sewell. Norwich might have something to say about that. They've drawn level. Watford 2, Norwich 2. Simeon Jackson prodding in from close range after Grant Holt headed down David Fox's free kick. Watford 2, Norwich 2. And it's Portsmouth nil, Coventry 3. Here in the Champions League at Old Trafford. Manchester United 2, Chelsea 1. Manchester United just took all the tension out. We were looking forward to 10 minutes there of extreme tension. Probably Still 10 minutes to go, up. though. Carrick plays the ball into the Chelsea penalty here. Flicked away uh, by Valencia to Giggs. Back to O'Shea. O'Shea's cross is low. Diving header clear by Essien. Uh, Maluda chased after it, but it was won by Evra. Finding Park. Score of the second United goal. Evra again to Park. A yard in from the left touchline. Back to Rooney. Hasn't scored, but I think he's been the best player for United. Doncaster Rovers won, Preston North End nil in the championship. Lots of championship action tonight. We hope it hasn't distracted too much from the Champions League commentary here at Old Trafford. Ferrero will be coming on shortly, considering the fact that Valencia is now going to be running at Ivanovic. I think he might just be thinking we can't go down to nine men. Yeah. Bad enough. We just, we just should be an obvious change unless Alex is struggling yeah possibility uh, I was just saying before you know that when it was before both of those recent goals were scored there I was saying that Manchester United for me hadn't, had, hadn't really stepped in the gas but were ahead and were cruising you were saying it, I, you know, agreeing with me that they were very comfortable and that was definitely the case and I do think that Manchester United did step in the gas when they fancied it when they needed to when they lost that goal Pereira replaces Alex so Ivanovic well will probably go uh, to centre of defence alongside Terry Ferreira with the throw in uh, Maluda controlled it or Kalu rather controlled it initially and then the ball broke out off Evra for a throw in to Chelsea which is taken to Essien and now Ferreira slipped it past Park beautifully crosses into the penalty chair behind Drogba and O'Shea controlled it and then cleared it up over the halfway line to John Terry how many minutes to go Eight. Here's Maluda uh, to Cole. On to Terry. Terry being booed. Uh, not an unusual uh, incident for the England captain, the England Chelsea captain. But that Chelsea move broke down. Van der Sar clears it upfield. Essien heads it down. Terry flipped it behind Ivanovic. Ferreira plays it back to Czech. The Stratford end of Old Trafford. As long as United keep it at that end. There's not the slightest danger to their progress into their fourth semi-final in five years in the Champions League. Here's Maluda. They're going to Kelsen, Gelsenkirchen. That's where they're going, in all probability. Not Milan. That's a good ball by Ferreira. Into Kalou. Kalou, bumbling shot. Bounces in front of Van de Sar, who saves easily. Would you, would you agree with me that Chelsea have played their best football since they went down to 10 yes. men? Yes. They have looked lively. They look completely... The word that jumps to mind is stale before that, you know, but you, you lose a man and suddenly the, the ball's zipping about a little bit quicker, they want to get it forward a little bit quicker, but to me that's been the story of last pass of Chelsea's season. Oh, that's a glorious ball forward to uh, Valencia, Valencia controls it, tries to pass it into Rooney, comes back off the defender, Valencia still has the ball and then he's robbed of possession by Michael Essien. Ashley Cole on the far side of the field. Ipswich 3, Middlesbrough 3 now. Ball given away by Chelsea. Given to Ryan Giggs. Giggs wanted Hernandez to make the run. Hernandez made the run too early. So it's back with Rooney and Park and Rooney again. Rooney uh, drifts it away toward the far side. Glorious ball. Man of the match, Wayne Rooney. Valencia on the far side of the field. Rooney will be missing on Saturday, you remember. Suspended for the cup semi-final. Hernandez, just to the right of the Chelsea penalty here, back to John O'Shea. They're running down time here in the most effective way imaginable in the opposition half. Do you know, a few weeks ago, I was, you know, people were asking about Manchester United. They had a few struggling games, you know, 2 0 down at West Ham United. And I question the fact, I mean, they're, they're not a team for me at that point that looked as if they could go and win a treble. Something would have to give. Do you know what? I'm really beginning to think about that now. This is going to be the difficult one. The Champions League going to be oh, the Barcelona. Difficult. And that's the shadow. That is the huge shadow that's cast over United at the moment, you know, for going for a treble. But everything else, the way they play just now, the comfort that they've played with tonight, the fact that they've got so many other players that can come and step in, the hunger that they've got throughout that entire squad, I was going to say team, the entire squad, 
you wouldn't put it past United certainly to get a domestic double a little over five minutes to go here on five live as Essien whips the ball forward uh, Drogba chased after it Van der got there first and puts it out of play the two players collided accidentally uh, no harm done no ill will throw in on the far side of the field to Chelsea surely too late they'd have to score twice now and you know a man short cannot see it Kalou there's teams on the possibly could see it when Chelsea were at their peak were at the strongest you know this team could could do very very special things but it's been a while since that Chelsea have, have been visible you know it's been it's been the very least half a season yeah I was going to say the start of the season the first half of the season when they looked uh, imperious looked to be cantering to retaining their Premier League title not the case of course Doncaster 1 Preston 1 Nottingham Forest 1 Burnley 0 and Bury 1 uh, Burton 0 here's Drogba Drogba uh, trying to bring the ball under control does really well Didier Drogba he's got Pereira to his right Drogba's thinking elsewhere though L playing the ball inside the defender Giggs crossing low but ahead of Kalou and through to Van der Zaar. Van der Zaar throws it out Park well tackled by Essien Essien took the ball without question then he couldn't find Lampard Lampard what's he done tonight next to nothing it really has been one of his uh, least effective games sometimes Frank Lampard doesn't take great parts in games other than scoring doing, goals exactly doing something special like arriving you know get, making chances or, or getting on the end of chances but uh, that side of it even hasn't been there tonight at all he's now tackled by Giggs the old man still a fantastic player uh, on by Kalou Kalou's uh, attempted pass headed away then it falls to Maluda Maluda's shot saved by Van der Sar and kept in play by Vinic initially in play uh, he was worried about conceding a corner concedes only a throw in just again Chelsea give, they're just looking lively you know, down to 10 men but as I say throughout this season there have been games when they've struggled they've put a 10 minutes worth of good effort in at the end if you're going to win Champions League and you're going to win at least you need to do it from the start Essien crosses into the United penalty area. Ferdinand uh, heads it away. But, well, Chelsea obviously anxious now. They're sprinting to every pass. Urgency in everything they do. But it's too late. Ball played into Drogba. Uh, headed away by Ferdinand once more. Here's Valencia on the far side of the field. And Valencia just clatters it over the halfway line where Terry slipped and trying to make the clearance only passes straight to Rooney Rooney running forward Ivanovic with him Rooney trying to hold off Ivanovic he does but he has to run wide and then he flicks the ball back to Park Park now searching for his second goal shoots takes a deflection off John Terry the ball's going to squirt through to the possession of Wayne Rooney down the left side two and a half minutes to go 2-1 to Manchester United Rooney in now to Evra a couple of feet outside the penalty area Evra almost fouled there kept his feet though gets it back to Rooney Rooney crosses deep glorious 50 yard pass to Valencia Valencia's attempted volleyed pass to Giggs wasn't good enough and Terry clears it temporarily back now to Valencia and then Evra dives in or not Evra sorry Cole dives in the other number three and Chelsea have the ball again John Terry uh, looks exhausted and Terry he's uh, tackled uh, loses it uh, did, didn't lose his head thank goodness mind you was with Ryan Giggs so I think there's a I mutual to, appreciation uh, there exactly but I have to say Terry's a player who can walk off uh, with his head held high today I think he's uh, he's worked really hard and uh, you know he's, I don't think he's done anything particularly wrong but uh, in front of him as, a, as I say is an, uh, an effective offensive force in Chelsea for most of the game and apart, apart from this last 10 or 15 minutes just really have looked inadequate um Manchester United all the way through the team look strong look viable look willing and maybe another word look hungrier a little over a minute to go then added time Maluda plays it to Kalou Kalou's cross uh, was played towards the edge of the penalty it was intercepted by Giggs and Valencia clears it to Hernandez score of the first United goal back to Valencia who tried to find Rooney intercepted by the head of John Terry Essien to Kalou and uh, Carrick fouls Kalou and it's a free kick to Chelsea we're inside the final minute of the 90 I just wonder how Ancelotti said to Torres at half time you're off um, I mean, to be honest I think Ancelotti will be less worried about individuals at this point in time and more worried about well 
the team and possibly himself. Yeah. I'm sure that conversation will happen after the game finishes. Uh, from the free kick, Drogba to Ferreira, back to Ivanovic. Ivanovic crosses in, header down by Frank Lampard, wide of goal. It's against Chelsea getting in good positions there. You know, it's, it's taken this long in the game to get, you know, to get themselves shaken a little bit. I say he was taking the sending off, but it's not the sending off. It just Chelsea are, are keen sometimes to do that. You know, go and attack the game, but it's it's five ten minutes to go. Teams that win Champions Leagues, you watch Barcelona. Are they turning on for ten minutes at the end? No, they're not. They're closing down from the first minute all the way through the game. Three minutes of added time, and we're into them. Terry heads it forward, intercepted by Ferdinand, who hasn't looked fit. You know, he, I know he's been running more freely. Uh, in, the, in the second half but he, he still doesn't look entirely fit but he hasn't been tested either yeah, his position is so good of, uh, it, it Chelsea's makes, attack. Uh, it makes sure he doesn't get any positions where he has to be chasing all the time he's a very clever player ever to Park Park looked to be fouled by Ivanovic but referee decides otherwise uh, here's Maluda to Essien Essien running forward um, keeps possession being harassed by three United players gets the ball back to Ferreira into Essien once more Cole wants it goes to Ashley Cole Cole midway inside the United half Cole tackled by Valencia ball breaks back to Essien though Essien towards Drogba uh, Drogba's par is going to win the ball no he can't quite keep possession of the ball and it's now with Rooney and Rooney's got an old head you know he just knows all you've got to do is keep possession yeah, he's slowing it down every time he's got the ball he's slowed it down he's calmed the game down he's killed anything that Chelsea are trying to build uh, and when he gets the ball he's passing up until I started that sentence <laughs> it's absolutely fantastic <laughs> yeah he just hit the ball behind Park or maybe it was meant for Ebra I kind of knew he was going to do it that's why I slowed down the sense I thought as soon as I see his passing he's great he'll make his one mistake in the game uh, Park beats Ferreira and Ivanovic didn't get in the challenge it's played forward by Park Hernandez after they stand up in the director's box uh, not very helpful to me sit down now mood breaks down anyway yeah, but what a great opportunity that was, and it has to be said, Ivanovic had to get that absolutely perfectly, although he was going off the field as well. Chelsea would have been down to nine men, would have made very little difference. Remember, Ramirez was sent off for two yellow card offences, and actually that, that sparked the best spell of the game for Chelsea. But they haven't had enough all night. Second best, Manchester United thoroughly deserve another place in the semi-final of the Champions League. And with due respect to Tottenham, they'll be England's last representative in the competition. Maybe Spurs will prove us all wrong tomorrow night. And I hope they do. I would be mildly surprised to say the least. Here's Drogba. Uh, taking the ball off Rooney. Drogba going forward and loses it to Carrick. Park to Carrick again. 25 seconds remaining before the final whistle will signal United's progress in the competition and the end of Chelsea's involvement. Here's Rooney. Rooney spots Czech off his line, hits it from 60 yards, and Czech retreated and caught the ball. I think icing on the cake that would have been for not only a great performance by Manchester United, but a superb performance by Rooney as well. And uh, I'll tell you what, that's <laughs> Czech worried. And there is the final whistle, and congratulations to United. Thoroughly deserved winners. By a long way, the better side tonight. And uh, I don't think, I, I think it was a period of one minute where Manchester United played at full pace oh, and that's when sorry. they needed to it score had, a goal we all thought it was the end Everybody the, whole, the, whole of the, <laughs> the whole of the crowd thought it was the end but he'd actually awarded a free kick the players so started walking towards just, the tunnel <laughs> just hold those celebrations for another two seconds now wait while Van de Zaar hits it upfield go on blow your whistle oh you're trying to justify it now are you <laughs> now he blows the whistle <laughs> <laughs> Well, Manchester United get two celebrations out of it. Well, they certainly have supporters do. Two final moment celebrations. And uh, I think uh, there isn't a single person in this ground tonight who will begrudge the fact that the better team on the day, over the tie and over the season, won the game tonight. And uh, I think Manchester United, slowly but surely, as this season has progressed, have looked more and more competent, more and more confident, and more and more looking like a team that's going to peak come the Champions League final so Alex Ferguson 100th game in European competition at Old Trafford and quite a success Manchester United through to the semi-finals
There will be Chelsea fans with an awful lot of questions after that 90 minutes. Pat will try and answer them on Five Live Sport before half ten. He didn't know that until I just said it, but he will. 0500 909 693. 0500 909 693 in between uh, bites of his apple crumble. Um, the, the quote before the game started, Pat, from Carlo Ancelotti, which we read out, we want to play with this shape and Fernando to play in front works well. Yeah. Well, it didn't work with him there, and they play a different system when they have Drogba, so why stick to the system that they went in the first half when they brought Drogba on in the second half? Uh, yeah, I think there's a lot of, uh, a lot of Chelsea fans will be asking that question, where it could have been adapted time and again, Chelsea looked as if they liked width. Then again, I suppose Ivanovic got down the right-hand side, he'd have expected Maluda when the ball came to get a little bit of width out on the left-hand side he never did but to be fair I think that's scratching at the edges for Chelsea I'm not convinced it's the system that's the problem there I think Chelsea have tried a number of systems throughout this season they're a very good side but for me they're a side that's below the level that are going to be real contenders at Champions League level and even real contenders at English Premier League level uh, was a stale performance tonight and that's not a one-off. There's been a lot of stale performances from a lot of Chelsea players throughout the season. It just looks like a team that looks in the, as if it needs very, very freshened up, very a huge amount of freshening up. Uh, that's probably from middle to front. But again, I'm, I'm crying out for it for a long time. Chelsea were a power side and have been a power side for a long time. The last truly creative player that Chelsea have had, probably Joe Cole, mm. I would suggest. Not many others than that since him. And uh, they've now got Ben Ayun. But that's a huge hope, considering the way the game's gone just now. The, the teams that have got creative play for Manchester United, they're generally out wide in the wide. You know, wingers, also Wayne Rooney can create as well, and Skolson can come on and create. Look abroad, how many creative players have Real Madrid got, how many creative players have Barcelona got. Chelsea are a poor side. Maybe it's time to go for that. Well, well, where's that? I mean, you can see, you can understand where, where the creativity might have disappeared to if, if they aren't bringing creative players in. But Chelsea fans will be baffled where the power has gone, where the power was that we, that we saw last season, that we even saw really up until October mm. this season. Where has that gone? Well, you'd have to look to every individual. Um, I think with Didier Drogba, um, you look at his goal scored last season compared to his goal scored this season. I've said it often, it's a World Cup year. It's a year after a World Cup. Players haven't had a rest during the World Cup. Didier Drogba also had malaria. Now, if you take Didier Drogba's goals out of Chelsea's campaign last season, wow, what a difference that would have made. Take his power plays out of the, game, the team last season. Chelsea, more often than not, played purely through Drogba. And sometimes through Anelka. Whether they're now just getting too old at this level, that is a question that I think a lot of Chelsea fans will be asking. I've written off Drogba once before, before last season, and then he had a great season last season. I'm not going to jump to right off just now. He may come back and have another great season next season, but it can't go on forever. They've depended on him far too much for far too long. Now that he's not the one they want to depend on anymore, it's Torres they want to depend on, but they do not play to a style. Barcelona have won tonight by a goal to nil against Shakhtar Donetsk. Lionel Messi with that goal. So it will be Barcelona who won 6 1 in aggregate against Real Madrid or Spurs. And Manchester United will await the winners of, Sch of uh, Schalke and Inter Milan. Schalke, of course, 5 2 up after the first leg. Those two games tomorrow night. Right. Uh, plenty more discussion with Pat. The phone lines are open 0500 909 693. You can text us as well. 85058 as Old Trafford empties here.